Wagwaglids need to tell you about our Patreon. You need to sign up. It is the best Patreon in the game. Starting at just three quid a month, you can get access to the entire back catalogue of Patreon content. So you get an extra episode every single week. You also get early access to these public episodes and you get access to the Patreon specials that we put one out every single month of. And the entire back catalogue of those specials includes... We've got all the lock-ins with Ishan, Stephen Tries, Jamie Hutchinson, Johnny Bongo. They're now legendary and there's more to come. We've got the last dance, the roast of Adam and Dan, the food challenge, the footy challenge. When we went to... Lorette Demand, it just became an absolute mess of a rugby league special. And, legendary. And next year, we've already got Amsterdam and Nashville booked. We've got a restaurant special coming soon that's going to blow everything away. We've got another lock in coming very soon. Go to patreon.com slash have a pod, sign up for three quid a month or five quid a month or ten quid a month, get yourself access to all that bonus content and become a proper member of the team. Stop and, being a pube. And you get to watch this 48 hours early. Yeah. Get on me. Go ahead. Put my knob. In your mouth. Wag Wag Leads, you're listening to the funniest podcast in the game with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kal, and Finn. This is the one and only Have a Word. Brought to you by Manscaped.com, the very best in below the belt men's grooming. Go, Ed, get on we me. We are in the midst of Adam nearly putting on a thousand pounds for Christian Eriksen to get No, Mark Simon Kier. Oh, sorry. Because he's th- the captain of the Danish national team. Apparently, they're going to wear the One Love armband in their right, okay. opening World Cup game. And FIFA have said any captain who does that will be booked. So he's five and a half to one. FIFA have said any captain. Any captain of a team whose team wear that get booked. Because it's, it's a captain's armband. Yeah, of course. Of course, of course, of course. So I'm considering putting a thousand pounds on. At what? At five, five and a half to one. To one. So I'll get six, six and a half grand back. It just feels like, why haven't they suspended it yet? Because if we know, Bet365, definitely know. Because it's not my money or our money, I think you should do it. He, oh, is he got? He's pressing the ball. Ah, who are you better with? Bet365, why get is a, it taking so long? You're going to get a call oh. from the bank. What? You're going to get a call from the bank, probably. And if you don't, then your bank shit. So... Just to fill you in, the dirty, horrible World Cup in guitar has rules uh, about hate, because they love hate. They love to hate. Oh, what a weird oxymoron. You're very right. They love hate. Um, and everyone's sort of thought of this process of, uh, protest, sorry, of having a one love armband, which is a white captain's armband with a heart with the LGBTQ plus flag within the heart. Yes. Please forgive me for being on my phone. I would never normally do this. It's very unprofessional, and f- but it's all for the banter. F- and FIFA and th- have come in and said... Any player wearing that, and there's only obviously one player on the pitch can wear it, yep. the captain, is going to get booked. As what if he keeps wearing it as, as soon, soon, soon as they go out? Yeah. Oh, it's not. It's just the one booking. Ah, I think Adam said as well, this he's, he's going to match the winnings and donate it all to an LGBT. Love it, love it. And if you celebrate LGBT. by LGBT. hugging one of your teammates, LGBT, yeah. that's gay and you get booked as well. So, yeah. Well, last night, me and Adam supported the, um, the cause in our quiz in the way we could. Yeah. So, you know, in the quiz me and Carl do and Steve do every month. You kissed. No, well, sort of. One love. In a way. In a way. With You, you kiss with your dick. One actually, love. Actually, in a, in a way, yeah. You had a sword fight? No, not quite. Ooh. That's sell tickets. So in the interval of our quiz, we always give away a, a prize worth between sort of 700 and 1,000 oh, pounds. Yeah, so yeah, last yeah, night yeah, we, yeah. we got like hundreds of pounds worth of Christmas decorations, a brand new tree, tinsel, mm. lights, a snowman. Just uh, so like... It was a seven foot Peruvian pine tree. To be exact. Fucking hell. Yeah. You've changed, lad. Fucking real gear. And the competition is always... Fucking Peruvian. The competition is always uh, in the interval to send us a picture whilst holding the sign saying chaotic quiz. And it's always something stupid. So, like, uh, the first one was uh, Sensei Carl is innocent. That was when he was sick and away. No, the yeah. first one was something to do with old people. Oh, yeah. I love cock. It was a woman. Yeah. yeah. And she's, she's dead saying now. Old she's dead. No, we've killed three nuns. The amount of DM. Oh, yeah. By the way, three old women have died. And everyone who's... So three, we, we've done the quiz five times, six times? Six. Six times. And three of the winners of that six. prize, their nans have died within four days of the quiz happening. Yeah. <laughs> so if you come and win, your nans going to yeah. die. So if you want an inheritance, as we've said before. Is this... Is this it won't bet- deposit. It won't, no, it won't let me deposit it. it. That's good on your bank's behalf. Because you never put £1,000 bets on. They usually contact you. No, but it, I, yeah, but it's my money. I want to be able to use it. I hate this. Anyway, the picture in the half time was... Uh, Two people kissing 
Men two people of the same, same gender, gender kissing. kissing. And we wanted to hashtag chaos of quiz, hashtag, hashtag World, World Cup. Cup. And the winner was a man who was kissing his mate's Willie. What? Yeah. He kissed his mate's cock on Twitter day. So we gave him the prize. Yeah. Now, deserve. you know I love gay banter, but that is a level that I've never got to. Actually, kissing a Willie. Yeah. Good on you, kid. We got a grand's worth of Christmas decorations. Yeah. Kiss a dick me and Adam won. <laughs> me and Adam won last night for fucking the first time in four months. You, you know, won? Oh, yeah, won. you had a good run at the start, didn't you? Two or three on the bounce. Won three in a row and then lost four in a row and now we're back, baby. So, no, that was seventh, actually, yeah. Ah, you're not allowed eight. to put on the old oh, Kajar. What's he called? Simon Kia. No, but it won't Simon let me Kier. deposit any money at all. Kia. Kajar, yeah. isn't it? Spelt yeah. Kajar. Yeah. It's got the you pay for Milan. He did? Yes, yeah. he did. Nice. Still does. Does he still play? Yeah, nice, Dan. Does he, yeah. He also got uh, played at the tournament because his friend died. Yeah. And then came back to life. Christian Eriksen. Christian Eriksen. Yeah. Yeah. When you, you were, when you were saying Christian Eriksen to get booked, I just don't feel like Christian Eriksen gets booked. There was a game against, was it Norwich, where he really got stuck in when he was playing for Brentford. And the player's like, get the fuck off me. And then oh, they yeah. end up oh, on top yeah. of each other. And he realises it's Christian Eriksen. It was almost like he was like, oh, fuck, like, sorry. He does, he like cuddles. He's like, like, oh, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, you're an absolute international treasure. It was mad when it happened. When I, I was watching that game. And on the WhatsApp with the boys. When, the, when he had the heart attack. And he went down. I went, what the fuck's happened there? Because they missed it. I went, oh, Ericsson's dead. Like, taking the Do you know, I, I knew about it. I was in a B&Q car park just after getting ID'd for Superglue. And you, <laughs> I checked the group and you were like, oh, this is fucking horrible. And it made me check in. Oh, it, it was one of literally one, or possibly the grimmest thing I've ever watched. So what did Ericsson have? He, he had like a, a massive, massive heart massive attack, heart attack yeah, on like, the pitch and like he just a, went. Yeah. If you've ever seen it, it's, it's genuinely harrowing to watch. Like, he, he's just right, he won't let fall. me deposit a thousand pound but it is letting me deposit a hundred pound at a time so I'm just going to do that ten times nice <laughs> nice cool fuck the system fuck the Qataris mate yeah and now Ericsson's back now he's what back. a lovely story yeah he is he's back yeah he's playing well he's playing signed for Man United on a free transfer and he's yeah. playing very well someone said he was basically the yeah he's kind of changed his role a bit yeah, he's, he's, not right, as, okay. he's not as attacking anymore yeah, but playing like Giggs used to play in his old age yeah, when he bit. plays deep though, they usually get battered. Yeah, <laughs> um, Christian Eriksen seems like a thoroughly nice chat, but I think if you come back from a heart attack on the pitch, you always are you're going to be held in. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Every Fabrice well, Mwamba. There used to be it, until a few years ago that was an ender, wasn't it? Like career ender immediately. Like, well, he's not allowed to play in the Serie A now because of, uh, they've got different rules. They've got rules about the same with Carney, on it. Yeah, they you can't play in that uh, that league. Um, sad to say, the NFL has not heart attacks, obviously but two or three frightening injuries every season and you really? just sort of get used to it. Like yeah. head injuries, is it? C horrific concussions. Like, there'll be a point two or three times a year where every NFL player on both teams, or, or they're, obviously the States is very uh, Christian, isn't it? There's a lot of people with faith and they all, they're all on there, take a knee, praying around some fucking injured player. It's, oh, grim. it's gone down to nine to two. I don't understand how Bet365 aren't aware of this. They they will be, so they're calculating it, aren't they? They think they'll fold like England. And Part of your bet this. needs to be approved by a trader. £222.22 will be placed now. Uh, 770 so They're slowly capping it. <clears throat> okay. They're bringing the odds down and then putting a... So they're on it. They're on it. Because there's another 8,000 people trying to do this. Yeah. And there'll be like a, an algorithm on their computers going, warning, warning. Uh, well, I've put 222 quid on it. So that's how we were third in the betting for Christmas number one because they they saw this instant spike in betting on us getting Christmas number one. Seven they had one. no idea there will be a computer going, oi, no idea who this is. Bring their odds right fucking down. And that got us hyped. It was like, yeah, we're in this. I think the fact that we're, we're on the top line of the Christmas number one betting forever, like it doesn't matter what we did. The fact that that picture exists is we well, probably is in beautiful. it this year. Apologies to the viewers and listeners that I haven't been very active in the first seven minutes and forty. No, but if that seconds. comes in, that's sweet. Yeah. Uh, speaking of betting, you've seen Ivan Tony being a naughty boy. Yeah. Ivan Tony, the Brentford striker. Yeah, yeah he's been. Have a naughty you seen his boy. initials? What's he done? Have you seen what his initials are? His middle names are B E, so his initials are I bet. <laughs> He's right. been he's been Has he been betting? 243 yeah. times? Two, 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 okay. yeah, two, he's breached seven. the betting rules. I don't understand why the betting rules are, are there for footballers. I just don't get it. I think you should be allowed to bet on whatever you like. It's mm. not in betting though, is it? Yeah, but still. Uh, but isn't that... Doesn't 
Yeah, because is it just a basic one where they could throw a match? Basically? No, I don't think you should be allowed to bet on your own team to lose. I get that. No, it's not even that. It's like bookings, isn't it? Lad, put ten on me to get booked tonight, and I'll kick the ball away. Yeah, so you shouldn't be allowed to bet on any negative thing, anything that you can just do. You shouldn't be allowed to do. But him betting on like himself to get an actor, like. <laughs> What's wrong with that? That's just confidence. Yeah. That's just confidence, isn't it? If Adam was a Premier League footballer, he'd be skint. <laughs> <laughs> he gets paid 180 grand a week. He bets 180 grand a week on him getting a hat trick. <laughs> and it comes in. But you know what I mean? He... Like, he's not allowed to do that, though. You're not allowed to bet on yourself to score. Isn't that fucking stupid? He's not allowed to bet on We, we live in a football. world, Dan, where, like, especially like these days, where people are talking about, you know, back yourself, have some confidence. If you've got a dream, believe it, you can achieve it. Yeah. Right? Dream, believe, achieve. Yeah. There's fucking pictures in the range that you can buy to put on your kitchen wall with that written on. I've got them. And you can't covered, even bet covered. on yourself. You can't e even elite level athletes are yeah. not allowed to back themselves. Oh my God. Ah, it's disgusting. Just put a picture of Adam If there's anything to be angry about football today, it's definitely not being allowed to bet on yourself as a footballer. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. No, disgusting. You, I don't... Wha, wha, one bet. I'm going to wear an armband possibly? today. One it's bet. It's just a blanket rule to stop any... Yeah, well, it's fucking stupid. And it should be Ivan Calvin Ridley. To the if goal. I run for Prime Minister, I'm going to change those betting rules for Premier League footballers. Hey, and if you run for Prime Minister, I'd bet on you. I'd bet on yourself to be Prime Minister. Is that allowed? Is that allowed? I'm pretty sure yeah. we've touched on this before. Right, but I, you know, with the current political climate, yeah, I'm like absolutely convinced mm. I would win a landslide majority as... Like the leader of either of the two major parties. I reckon you the, would as get... the... <laughs> You think you... Hang on. How do you become... Labour, never mind. The Tories. You think you'd win a landslide as the leader of the Conservative Party? Yeah. Right. You hate... Tories. I know I do. You're from a city who You ever heard of a man on the inside? Oh. You'll underestimate them? Smart. Smart. Because usually they go for some fucking... Horrible, self-righteous. Have you never seen Ali G? Upper class cunt. But you in think that is what we need, though. Yeah, we Keep need it real, we genuine. Like I'm telling you right now, and that was a documentary, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, yeah, it was yeah, on yeah. that geo. Listen, right. I'm telling you right now, we are living in an era of personality. That's tell, CM Punk. Tell me. <laughs> Keep telling me. Right. I'm glad you're telling me and not everyone that's listening. Like, Dad, <laughs> no, you need to hear this. I'm telling you. Right. It, and this goes across the entire spectrum of public life. <laughs> society, you could call it. Right? No, because I'm not talking about just society. Public life. Public life, people who are in the public eye. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not, every, every that's job. not everyone. Not no, everyone's right. in the public no, eye. No, you're right. So watch your fucking mouth. I won't. Right? Listen, every job in the public eye. Split it up with me. <laughs> you get it through personality. Go. Because of social media and the way the world's gone, All right? right. Everyone feels like they've got constant access to people's lives, especially those in the public eye, right? So, I'm telling you, comedians who have got no personality in their act will start selling less and less tickets as years go on. I'm telling you, people want to know about you, who you are, what you're up to. That's good, because I can't write a joke about anything else. Go on. Yeah, you're going to be fine. And podcasting has exacerbated it massively. Exacerbated it, right? They say also exasperated it. Right? <laughs> because they get so much info about all of us. And it's going to be the same for politicians. This Rishi Sunak cunt going, like, clearly reading an auto cue with his fucking eyes, where's the man? Like, meh, meh, meh. And I will do whatever I can to the British people. Oh my God. I thought, is that Rishi? Is that Rishi Sunak? What a great impression. He doesn't wear Germany hats, though. He wears about eight and a half stone. That's how tall he is, though. Yeah. It's not going to work much longer. If someone like me was given a chance <laughs> by the Tories, <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. They want to win the election. That's all they care about. Yeah. They want power. I could give them it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Cool. It's going to make gigs hard work, isn't it? Du, 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 du. Fuck the Tories. No, 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 no. I mean, that won't be a proper one. I'm an my, inside my man. followers would know. I would be an inside man. We'll just tell the podcast listeners. Tories don't listen to this. That's true, isn't it? Yeah. So nice. I'm telling you right now, you know, like all this fucking disingenuous interview answers that they give when it's like, so what are you going to do about the fact people are starving and they can't afford to heat the houses and people who are choosing between paying the lucky bills and feeding the kids? What about that Rishi? And he's like, we all committed to our manifesto. We're but down 10% and they just say a load of shit that no one understands. People are getting bored of that. They need someone like me to go, look, it's a fucking nightmare of a situation. Not going to lie. Putin's boosted off. We can't really do anything about it. He controls our energy prices. So we're just going to have to do our best. What I'm going to do, right? What I'm going to do, just slowly give you some of the dough from all the rich people, but don't tell them. Classic Tory leader there. Yeah. 
Right. But then I go to the rich people and go, that was a lie. <laughs> yeah, which is what Rishi does. Yeah. All right, cool. And they don't check their bank accounts because they, they don't. got loads. So We're having just... two Tory party conferences, one in uh, Tunbridge Wells. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck, fuck these poor lot. You'll get everything. They want don't worry real about is me. what I'm saying. The other ones at the Bootle Arena. They just want someone to be honest. That's what the people, that's what people want. People can now smell disingenuity off a mile off. <laughs> You can smell. They're exasperating, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you okay. Need, you need a normal person at, at the dispatch box. You need someone well, We had asked. it with Jeremy Corbyn, didn't we? We had it with Jeremy Corbyn. Got painted as a fucking communist. And then Labour lose two fucking elections. That's the problem, isn't it? Straight talking, honest Adam. guy. Be the other way. I won't be a communist. I think we, you know. I'm going yeah. to be a centrist that everyone loves. It's a, uh, it's a greasy pole, isn't it? It's a greasy pole. Too much honesty does not get you up that greasy pole. <laughs> One love. Him, trying to give him a no, but it, it will, though. <laughs> it will if you do it right. All oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wear gloves. Gloves. I was going to say that. Yeah. Easy. Climb yeah. a different Figuratively. pole. Figuratively. I'll make me own. Literally. I'll make my own pole. A sticky one. There you go. Oh, oh fucking outside the box there. <laughs> yeah, it's a greasy pole, but I've got a sticky one. <laughs> I'm stuck on it. Would you vote for Adam, genuinely? No. Why? Because it's Adam. What do you mean? If you went into the polling booth and it said Adam Rowe, oh, I mean, so it, it wouldn't be yours. Right, he's okay. got your constituency, but... Right. If, if so it, where, where, which, I'm going to be the MP for Sorghum. <laughs> but then the, the Prime MP Minister. for Sorghum! <laughs> we got our own MP! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Um, talk me through it. Where do you want to start constituency? Well, got, if we're going to do this, you can't just be I'd win any in the country, so you pay. <laughs> right. Carlisle. Right. West, Carlisle, you've got a, a chance. South Shields, you've got a chance. Uh, Bootle, you've got a chance. But I think you might suffer in, say, West Seven Oaks. No. I give me Northern Charm to win them over. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one, head of the game. We've got fucking Siri doing shit, though. Siri. All right. Have you got your Welsh Siri on? Yeah. All right, West Sussex, it's fucking miles away. <laughs> Go to Newport, keep going, you'll fucking eat it. <laughs> um, what, would okay. you, what would you say to the people of uh, Seven Oaks? To try and win the Seven Oaks, what questions can, are? Uh, they'd be like, I'd be a question led MP. First question, first question. I haven't got any policies until you'd ask me what they are. <laughs> uh, first question, um, uh, Mr. Rowe, could you fuck off back, back to the north? That's not a question. Next. It is a question? It's not. It's could you fuck off back to the north? It's more of question a Question mark. Say, no, what? I, Adam. No, what? no, I think it's his. What's I think your name, Adam? What's your name? What? What's your name, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> Dylan Brown. <laughs> What's your name, Adam? Well, my name's Adam. Um, my name's Mrs. Palmer Tompkinson. Mrs. Palmer Tompkinson. I've lost my daughter in the last few years. It's been very difficult, but I am I fucking loaded. She was sound there. Oh, that's so nice to know she had friends towards <laughs> the end. No, he ate her there. Yeah. I'm his press officer, by the way. Oh, is he that? hated that. He's just bombing out. <laughs> he will be my press officer as well. All right, he definitely out, won't he? <laughs> so, what was your question again, love? Play just... Space Cowboy! <laughs> what's, your, what's your question again, love? Um, what are you going to do for the um, people of Seven Oaks, Kent? Well, what do you want? <laughs> um, less tax. Okay, we can probably sort that out. All right, cool. Easy, yeah. next question, please. Um, I don't like immigrants. Not a question. Because we're, we're near the south coast and they come... Very good swimmers, quite athletic people. I'll make sure none of them come anywhere near you, love. Oh, okay, that's that's wonderful. Yeah. Great. All we're All trying right. to do here is win the election. When we've won, we're in. Bam, yeah. you've been fucking duped. Right, You okay. won't say that, what? of course. Well. So, <laughs> immigration, uh, uh, do you want me to keep them completely out of the country or can I just move them to some of the little shitholes, you know, like up north, like where my lot live? Oh, well, that would be lovely. Just put them up there. I've Otherwise, heard there's a place called Hull. Yeah. Hull. In Chester? Hull. No, Hull, Hull. Oh, I think the water. Hull in Chester. I used to live <laughs> in Hull in Chester. That's what I, I was getting confused there. You know what I mean? I was trying to do Northern Banter, but I didn't really pull it off. <laughs> it's called Hull. Love. Hull. Oh, Hull. Yeah, we'll put them all there. Hull. Put them all in Hull. Oh, well, that seems lovely. Not a problem. Right, next um, next press conference is in Hull. Right. You all right? Hello, lads. How are we? <laughs> I know I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Easy mistake to make. Sorry, these lights in my eyes. Sorry. Sorry yeah, yeah, love. yeah. Well, I've been doing non binary for years. How are you, love? Yeah, fucking rough. So, can I count on your vote? Listen, I want to I want to make sure you're taking, you know, tax off rich cunts down south. Oh, we are. I don't yeah. know. Off the top of my head, seven hooks. <laughs> <laughs> cunt. Are you all right? 
Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, we've this already... is my talking voice. Yeah, we've already told them. We've already <laughs> yeah. told them, love. By the way, they're getting taxed loads. All right, tax fucking loads. You, you're speaking truthfully now, yeah, uh, Mr. Rowe. We're all you? getting one immigrant each in their houses. Oh, nice. Mm. <laughs> can they have our Sandra? She's a fat bitch. We can't get rid of her. We can get rid. She's do thirty-nine. You want we need her out of the house. You vote for me. You vote for me, love. I'm telling you right now. You can have whatever you like. I don't know if the person in Kent would hate that more. An immigrant or a, a fucking 39-year-old from Hull. I think they'd hate the immigrant because they're more likely to be racist as well as uh, classist. Yeah. So there you go. Adam gets the votes from both people. Bam, Smart. we're in. You've all been... Fucked. Promise everyone everything. You don't have to deliver on any of your manifesto promises. I, honestly, I'm telling you this right now. That sort of rhetoric work has been working for the Tories for a long fucking exactly. time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an age of austerity. And then I get in and I just go, right. Build bigger gates. I'm passing these new laws. 92% tax rate for anyone over 100 grand a year. 92%? Adam, Adam, Adam. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, look at him. No. Looking after yeah. your face. Hang on, hang on. Don't start. Listen. Just, uh, can I have a little private chat with my business partner? <laughs> Just, I don't know if you need to drop the mic. Lad. Lad. No, we need to sort the poorest out. We'll get you back in a, a few years. Yeah, lad. But look. Can we do a cash Patreon? No. 92% oh. tax rate. Anyone over 100 grand. But yeah, lad, look. I've done a deal, lad. I'm making listen, me light Dan, listen, Dan, listen. Yeah. Oh. Family ticket year round for Thorpe Park. Whoa! <laughs> Fucking hell, that's where 92% of my earning goes on. <laughs> Free sneak. Fuck 92%. the Tories. 92%. 92%. Carl's <laughs> gone quiet. Uh, order, you've order. Five, you've lost my I've just been blind in one eye. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But no one will starve. Everyone will have dead horse houses, even in the summer. <laughs> Keep the heating on, love. <laughs> Fucking Bikram living room. I thought I'd Prime national- Minister Rowe. Is I'd it- nationalise everything. Everything. Oh? I'd nationalise the lecky, the gas, yeah. the trains, Greg's, Mackey's. Right, cool. As the leader of the Conservative Party, you've won this landslide because you've just bullshit everywhere. You're now nationalising everything. Yeah. So this is the sting. But people will be like, this is the thing. At first, all the people who voted for me will feel like that. They'll be like, oh my God, he's clearly not a Tory. He's a centrist with socialist ideals. Right? <laughs> They'll all say that. Yeah. 92%! <laughs> Classic centrist! <laughs> 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 what even is that? That's this whole new oh fucking God. version of. Or, it's North Korea. And then, <laughs> when my policies start working, <laughs> and everyone's working a two and a half day week. Because really, you've nationalised Greg's. <laughs> <laughs> two and a half days? Don't worry, love, have a fucking council sneak peek. How much are we? <laughs> 25 pence. President Rowe has done us right. What a fucking unbelievable policy. It'd work. Because then everyone would be like, this guy's a gobshape and I've got four years to do as much damage as I like. Listen, listen, before, can am I part of this fucking cabinet? Can I be? No. I, I, I will, vote you haven't got a fucking clue what you're up to. Press officer, <laughs> Prime Minister. As if I'm having you involved, you've got no experience whatsoever. What would you be? Justice for my I want to be the Chancellor of the Exchequer. I run the banking, I run the finance of this podcast, I could run his government's finance. I think we no. need to get right on to Jeffrey Bezos. No. I think before we start taxing us... And we're not going to win the election without Jeff back on us, so leave Jeff alone. Yeah. Jeff's the fucking... Oh, yeah, he's a big man, player in money, British politics, isn't he? We've actually exactly. sold the naming rights. We're now called the Amazon Tories. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the um, minister for... What, what's the immigration? The minister for immigration. <laughs> that sounds racist, doesn't it? <laughs> home sec- I think it's home just called Home Secretary. Home Secretary. Carl, Carl's minister, minister for, for foreign Sport! Sport. Okay, I can ruin that. No, you want, like, make it better? Oh, no. yeah. Good luck, women's football. Um, <laughs> one love. Um, it sounds horrific. I'm into it. Why does it sound horrific? No, I'm, I'm into it. Four par. I Just in terms, it was the same as the bet. P- put a grand on. Let's see what happens. Let's see you run for the, you know, Tory leadership. I'm into it. I, I, think, I think we support. should do it as a podcast. Instead of Christmas number one next year, run for local council. Local council. council. Yes. Get your council tax down slightly. We can be mayor. An orange an orange and navy blue bin. Nice. So you're, already fucking get, you're already getting the fucking cogs moving. You're you're the know, they are going to change the way uh, politicians speak, though, in the coming years. 
it's going to be a lot more colloquialisms. People are going to be a lot more honest than Steve. You know, like in America, Andy Benham, sorry. you know, with Steve Trump, Benham. just like he didn't, he's a gobshite. But the reason he was popular is he spoke like normal people. Mm, no, he doesn't speak like normal people. He just Does. he just revved everyone up, made it super racist. Yeah, yeah. but it worked. Americans do. <laughs> Americans do have. He doesn't talk. Normally, though, does he? No, but he, he, I don't mean he talks totally normally. What I mean is, he's like, he's not horrible. a robotic politician. No, I'll give you that. Give so, you like, that. when people are like, hey, you've done this wrong, you go, oh, shut up. I haven't. Shite. No, he Nonsense. Ha- I'm the best president ever, and everyone knows it. Jobs are up. Everyone's fucking got loads of scran. Shut up. And he was the worst president in what modern it history. Worked. He was the worst president for Americans. Everyone else, he was the best. No, he's... No, oh, it was absolutely. fantastic. Yeah, it, it was worked. great watching. And I'm as telling soon as you, Biden won the election, you just stopped checking. Yeah. But I'm telling you, the lefties... People died or slot, because he rallied them We're going to start copying that when we want to win. They're going to put a normal person right at the front. So who would you have, if you were if you were Labour now, and you were going to honestly take, take this advice? Imagine if John Bishop went, do you know what? I'm going to become a politician. Because I, I, I think John Bishop is a great comic. He's not one of the very best, but he is charismatic beyond all belief. Like I've I've met the guy. He I think he's a bit he's, too clean for it. Do you think? Yeah. Wouldn't he? Wouldn't he be amazing if we were actually going to go for the populist route? I think it, Frankie Boyle's a better shout. Genuinely. I think, I think he's too far the other way. What do you mean? Well, he's he's so unclean, isn't he? No. He's I think so, that's what people want. Right, okay. Everyone's unclean. We've all got skeletons in our closet, Dan. <laughs> right. Someone really dirty. Really, Charles Bronson. <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah. Just Proper. someone who it's just takes too no many skeletons. Shit. I want to see politicians swearing. I want to see them at the dispatch box going, fuck off. You know I'm doing my best. You're trying to nitpick to score political points. You know full well you couldn't be doing better on this issue than me. So sit your fucking ass down, you stupid Tory cunt. I'm doing my best. You know I am. So what, 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 what? Tell me what you do right now. What? Oh, you can't. Exactly. Shut the fuck up and let me get on with my job. And I'll be going, ah. Uh... John, can I go? I'm busy here. Why am I taking questions off these guns? I've got stuff to do. People are dying and starving, lad. Yeah, can I go? He'll answer your questions. Yeah. <laughs> it's Adam, isn't it? It's not John Bishop. It's not Frankie Boyle. <laughs> Fucking President Ro. President, he changes the title. Build a wall. Right yeah, build seven a wall. Oaks. No, build a wall on the Mersey. Keep all the walls out. I think we should also get rid of the title Prime Minister. We should abolish the monarchy and for that, but the leader should be called the King. We king should elect Ro! the King. King Ro! He'd be assassinated real quick. Elect the King. Yeah, he would be shot within hours of... I wouldn't. I'd be heralded. Yeah, 92% tax will get you murked, fam. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll shoot you. Mate, don't drive, <laughs> don't drive any under, under any tunnels in Paris. You'll be gone. I'm telling you, once people realise how fun life could be, if we all just paid our share. Imagine if everyone got the same money. <coughs> Imagine what? Yeah. What the what do they call it? The um the UBI. The OBI. Uh, Universal it? basic Universal income. Basic income yeah. I think people should get five grand a month. Everyone. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't that devalue money though, so it wouldn't really change anything. What? Wouldn't that just devalue our economy and not change anything? Well, it wouldn't just devalue our economy, it would break it outright. No, but it wouldn't. It would, because nope. everyone just got, all right, now, now Snickers are 16 quid. No, they're not. No, they would, though. No. No, they're not. We can't put the heating on. Well, I'm not fucking not buying Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they would. It happened in Zimbabwe. Well, it cost like 45 pounds. No, you just put a price cap on one. Snickers. There you go. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Next he thinks he's the leader of the... T- Call me King Row. I'm the uh, leader of the Conservative Party. I've got a 600-seat majority. I'm the most hardline commu- <laughs> communist since fucking Marx. I've got a 600-seat majority. There's a three-line whip. Price cap on all confectionery. I think you might be worse for the economy <laughs> than tr- Liz Truss. Not possible. Yeah, I, yeah sounds it. Oh, so everyone gets idiot. five grand. Everybody. You'd even lose Carl. The Minister for Everyone Immigration. Everyone gets five grand a month. How much are these Snickers? <laughs> Never mind the foreigns. They can smuggle some Snickers in. I'm for it. Snickers ice creams, by the way. Phenomenal, just saying. Um, are they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mars ice creams are a proper treat. Snickers are better, though. My mum used to love Mars ice cream. Twix are the best ones you can find them no more. You can tell only in Morrison's. No, the best ones are Snickers. It's just a Mars one with nuts in it. Yeah. I don't like nuts. 
Why not? I, don't, I prefer Mars. I've started my annual dry roasted <laughs> peanut addiction. We're off! We're off! <laughs> it's 28 minutes! But ADHD has kicked in for all of us. Yeah, yeah, enough about that. I fucking love Twix ice cream. <laughs> what about peanuts, I do? Lads, I hate when you talk about politics. Well, try Twix. Uh, seasonal food is real, though. I get what you mean with the nuts. Dry roasted peanuts at Christmas. You can't have them in the summer. I did a little big shop the other day. Uh, and, uh, oh. I mean, what? It's it's two baskets full. Yeah, two baskets shopping. Don't, you don't need a trolley. And all of the stuff is going to be out within three or four days. So you can't call it a big shop because a big shop's to last at least a week. Oh and ideally God. a fortnight, isn't it? I, I, I'm, I'm captain little big shop. I do little shops, but I never go bigger than, bigger yeah. than a little big. I like this small trolley. A small trolley. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Or two baskets, depending on how you're feeling. Yeah. If you haven't got the coin. Well, this was one basket and arms full. S- same thing, yeah. Oh yeah, right. And I went. Where were you hanging the basket? <laughs> what? Where were you hanging the basket off? It was cock. What? You doing that with your arms and with the basket? Yeah, I had the basket hanging off me. Yeah, uh, like uh, Papa <laughs> She that. was hosting she that. Ninety-two percent <laughs> tax. Everyone gets a quid for trolleys. No trolleys are free. Oh, I'd also abolish the the quid in a trolley thing. It's just inconvenience. Just have trolleys. No one's nicking trolleys anymore. They have 1991. Are. No, they're not. It's have the not 1991. <laughs> Do you remember? The old fucking... <laughs> <laughs> the trolley stealing pandemic. <laughs> you all had to stay in. You couldn't move for fucking stolen trolleys. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> 1991. I, I don't reckon I've used a big trolley in the supermarket in about four years. <laughs> unless someone's given me a coin. The most arbitrary day ever. <laughs> Black Monday! <laughs> fucking stock exchange is gone. Why? It's all them fucking stolen trolleys. <laughs> well, yeah, I got a, a collection of Fox's classics. <laughs> oh, mate. Why are you making yes. me laugh so hard? I'm gone. Are they for, for Christmas? Say, old man buying Fox's they classics. were for Christmas, but like, what? You get two trays worth, don't you? One of the trays is fucking dust, yeah. mate. You do the bottom tray so your ma doesn't know. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fucking easy ones, mate. <laughs> You get to Christmas and she goes, oh, you haven't touched them. And she goes, oh, and you go, fucking shut up. I got them. Oh. I got a big fucking share box. It's a share like jar of dry roasted peanuts. Nice. Gone by November 25th. <laughs> I got four packets of pork scratchings. What What mood were you on? <laughs> I wanted snacks. Fucking hell. <laughs> As a trucker. Do you uh, want to see Christmas? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. hell. Little big shop. Good for your diet. Um, I got, <laughs> what? I got the Tesco's finest share bag of triple cheese flavoured crisps. Yeah. Is that why you slept in yesterday? You were in a diabetic coma. <laughs> what was that? Tesco's finest. Sorry, what? Flavor? Triple cheese. What? It's three different types of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it's so triple it's, cheese. It's, it's cheese, cheese, and then. Tre Formaggio. Really? The famous Tre Formaggio. What? Triple cheese flavour? They're just yeah. really cheesy, then. It's like super cheesy, Chris. Right. Tastes like cheddar, brie, and... Gorgonzola. <laughs> nice! <laughs> cheddar. Gorgonzola. Cheddar's your foundation cheese. <laughs> Gorgonzola, brie. Take it up a notch. Yeah. Right. What about quadruple cheese? Is that something we can look didn't into? have them. Stupid. It also doesn't exist. Too far. I, I'm, I didn't have too invent much cheese. fucking flavour, did I? All right. Tesco's finest. It's just... A bit of a crunch to them, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Not, What's all that not cheese? Like, not, like kettle, not like kettle level crunch. Mate, they can fucking break your jaw, they're bastards. <laughs> oh, if you get an overcooked kettle chip, one, oh of the, my. one of the brown ones. Yeah. I actually like them. Oh, sweet uh, sweet chilli kettle chips, they're great. They're I like the though. cheese ones. But my favourite crisps Tell on me. the planet are the caramelised onion and a balsamic vinegar. Walker's sensations. I'm currently going through a salt and vinegar hula hoops phase. Nice. Nice. But yeah, what, what I'm, you look, get I'm you? really looking forward to Christmas. So I'm going to London for a week today. When I come back, I'm putting my Christmas tree up. I know. The next day, me and Steve are coming in here to do the deckies in here. So from the for the next public episode that we're recording in here, which will be on Thursday, the 1st of December, this is going to look like Santa's grotto, mate. Um, Christmas, please. Christmas, please. Me and yeah, Steve nice. are going shopping that day and I'm buying an ab- absurd amount of decorations. Right. Now, apart from the heart attack little big shop mm. and obviously you're doing Christmas deckies, how are we all doing with each other's Christmas presents that have to be ready for when we all do the uh, Christmas dinner? Have to give it a second. Because thought. we cannot do the, oh, lads, we'll do it after the fucking thing and we'll, oh, I owe you. How are we doing? I feel like that's a personal dig. Nope. I'm Because I've only got one present and it's uh, Finn's. Okay. Oh. I think it was a personal dig from last year, though. 
I, I'm on it. How are you doing with it? I'm on it. it. In terms of on it, have you just decided that you're going to be on it? I'm on it. I've got one of yours. Oh, okay. He has. Uh, he's not lying. How are you do? I'm great. How are you? <laughs> yeah, quite well. Can't wait for the cheese board. Oh, no, I need Stay H cheese board. I want a triple cheese board. You ate cheese boards? Judge them now. You ate cheese boards? Stay H cheese boards. We got one in Plymouth. Cheese is shite. It's overrated. Everyone just needs to get over it. Get over it. It's cheese. What, on toast? What kind of cheese toast? boards? Do you get <laughs> toast nice? Cheese yeah. on toast. On pizza? Cheese on pizza, nice. Yeah. In a burger? Yeah, you just don't like nice. individual bits of cheese and crackers? Yeah, but when people like obsess over cheese, why? It's cheese. Because the cheese board nice. at Christmas, mate, is oh. absolutely oh. sensational. We went to Plymouth last month. Oh, last Show month. off. See our mate who lives down there. And went to like a little wine bar. It was dead nice. Yeah. Got a cheese Got board. Got a cheese board. Yeah. And oh. one of Two them I nearly threw up. And they yeah, went, oh, oh whoa, that's, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's dead nice. No, I will give you this, right? I don't cheese. like... It was goat's cheese. It was goat's the cheese. best one. I don't like goat's cheese. I also... I hate blue cheese. And anything that's like super moldy, like Gorgonzola, I don't like them either. But I'm telling oh, you right now, crisp. a cheddar, a mozzarella, a brie, a camembert. Oh, get oh. the bread in that, mate. A dairy <laughs> leaf. A camembert with a chutney. Chutney bit, shite as bit well. Of bread. Lad, you're it's a cold goth. I don't know it's cold. A, a hot camembert on a tiny little bread cracker with a bit of chutney oh, on it. Oh, mate. Fucking hell. Shove it up me bollocks. Why don't you oh, like chutney steak? Tories. It's cold. <laughs> Cheese. Don't like shaggers. cold food. Cheese is incredible. Cheese for the Christmas. Oh, mate, with a Baileys. Oh, Cheese I and bought Baileys. two. I bought two one litre bottles of Baileys the other day. Yes. Jesus Christ. Your Christmas shits must be wild. I only oh, have yeah, Baileys at Christmas. Wow. Well, other, other Christmas, um, other Christmas onlys. Um, Advent calendars. Twiglets. I really don't get Twiglets. The big bag of Twiglets until Christmas. There's something quite crispy about it. The Cheeselets do the Treeslets. Oh, we had them last oh, year. Oh, mate, they Wonderful. are nice. Yeah. And then also matchsticks. I don't know why it's in my head as a after Christmas eight, thing. Yeah. After eight. Ferrero after eight. Rocher. Ferrero Rocher. And the little... Um, Gran used to love Ferrero Rocher. Rafa Raffaello ones. Is it the coconut one? Rafa I don't like oh, them. Oh, I know what you're I like them. They're toffee. No, no, not it's, the, not is, the is it Raffaello? Raffaello's, I go through the toffee Raffaello's. fee at Christmas as well. It's a fee fee. Because someone gets you them every year. Yeah, my dad used to love Thornton's toffees for Christmas, and now he's got three teeth in his head, so... Someone buys them. <laughs> <laughs> or he used to fight people for his toffee. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, ER are Peter. Merry <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> Come on, get away from my toffee, you know. <laughs> Even though they gave it to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get yeah, away yeah. from it. <laughs> oh, fucking Indian give us one here, you know. Oh, I cannot wait for you to walk in here for the Christmas deckies. I've got plans. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. Um, I'm getting what a tree. are we tree. doing presents? That what? is a good question. I'm getting a tree for in there that it needs a ladder to put the star on. <laughs> the star needs to be something funny as well. I mean, my car. Oh, it's going to be the red dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Merry we're Christmas, all doing. Everyone. Have a great one. You buy what Enjoy you want it. to buy. There's no limit. There's okay. No, there are, just just buy what you can. What I meant was, there's no limit. As in, like, you know, like we're, spe we're all spending five hundred quid, so you spend whatever you no. want. Buy whatever you feel is reasonable. Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a break. Merry yeah. Christmas. All right, lids. Time to talk about Whoop. I've become a big fan of it. We've had the wearable. We've been doing the challenge. To be honest, I've just been charting my metrics and apparently I'm healthy, which I didn't know before we were doing the whoop thing. It's also really good. It shows you when you're ready to do exercise with your recovery level, charts your sleep, helps you just get healthier. Even if you're not mad into your fitness, I feel like it's just a way of, a good way of charting, just looking after yourself. So go to join.whoop.com slash have a word to get started. Uh, you can then join our community. There's a whole leaderboard people doing strain, people doing sleep, recovery. Uh, you can just see where the lids are. You can see where all the other Have A Word fans are. Uh, you've got to go on the app and then join the group by typing C-O-M-M slash H-V-A-W-R-D. If you check out using that link, you'll also get a free month's Whoop membership thanks to the Have A Word podcast. That's us, guys. Uh, this will allow you to get started for zero pounds for nothing. And with a 30-day uh, return window, you can essentially try before you buy. What are they calling it, Steve? They're calling it the... Cyber sale. It's a cyber sale. So it's basically the Black Friday deal. Uh, it's really good. Give it a go. We're all enjoying it. 
I'm actually getting a lot out of it. Get healthy pre Christmas. Be in the gym, haven't you? I've been the gym once. Tried dead hard. Which you're now watching. Oh, yeah. A little bit of B roll. And I think I look pretty sexy. Whoop. Get on the whoop. We are back. <sighs> Second section, and we go in speed round. No, this is an actual speed round. I'm going to keep it speedy. Uh, I feel it like it'll be speedy for episode 200. Oh, it's a big one, boys. How do you feel? I just everything's different. <laughs> I got in here today, and I was like, I honestly think you're nothing until you've got 200 episodes under your belt. Yeah. Back. We used to say that, didn't we? How many episodes do you reckon we'll ever do? Uh, 968. Do you reckon? Oh, don't yeah. say that. I reckon it'll be 13,000. Can someone do the I'm math? Respectfully. That? That's 26 years. <laughs> respectfully dis- disagree. Why? When uh, Can we honestly put a, a number on? What? Well, Rogan's in the thousands, isn't he? I think if we hit... But when will that? <laughs> what? 249 years. I should do 13,000. No, but if we start doing one a day. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I, re- I reckon we should get to like 2,000, 2,500. We'll see. I reckon we should do a bare minimum of 25 years have a word. By the way, if anyone can hear a dog bark and Carl's got a dog and it's here and it's having a good old little bark and cry while it's out there, but we're leaving it because it needs to learn that people leave and sometimes they don't come back. self <laughs> Yeah. Jeez. Also, Etta's in a cage out there screaming as well, but she needs to learn. She needs she can to talk. learn. She can scream as well. Wouldn't she be going, Dad? Well, it depends on the level oh, of damn. threat. Yeah, I think if you left her in a cage, you'd, you'd know about it. Yeah. Oh, I can hear him whimpering. He's, he needs oh. to learn how to self-soothe himself. Oh. He needs to learn to suck himself off. Speed round. That's what I put him in there for. <laughs> uh, Leon Burgess says, boys. 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 The boys. The boys. The boys. The boys. Bit of a time sensitive one. So close to the live show, the arena show. Seven, four, a thousand, let's. Have you thought about trying to set a world record when you have about 10,000 in one room? Oh yeah, 10,000. Uh, I've done some research and most people to wear Christmas jumpers in one place is 3,473. We Seems could smash that out of the park. Um, Leon, I can see the thinking. That's so easy. Why is that so low? <coughs> but I can't be asked. You know what I'm doing? Yeah, that's where I'm at. I like, when you first said that then, I was like, oh my God, we should absolutely do that. And then I realised there's like three steps to like the admin of that. And do you know but what? You wouldn't be doing the admin, would you? That's a good point. Let's do it. <laughs> and the other problem is, I'm not wearing a Christmas jumper at the uh, arena. I Why? don't think we're going to be yeah, one Yeah, but you could for five minutes, couldn't you? We're not going to be one short if you don't either. There's more than three and a half thousand. I think if you're expecting everyone to look like a fucking lump at, on, on December 9th and wear a Christmas what's jumper, most, you should wear one. What's the most bazookas in one room at one time? Um, so let me just check. Leon Burgess <laughs> says, interestingly, if you can't be asked doing that, the most bazookas in uh, the same room is 1,422. Genuine question yeah. for Scottish all John. of the lids here. Have you actually thought about your outfit? Because realistically, yes. right? Realistically, you need an outfit for the first bit, for the stand-up bit. You need an outfit for the second bit, for the podcast bit. Second outfit. And, and a outfit third outfit for the after party. Three outfits. Yeah. I have. I thought about it and I was like, oh, I really want to wear something special. And then I was like, do you know what? I just want to wear something that I feel smart in and I feel like I look good in. So I, I went with that. that. I went with that. Full knowledge, kid. Uh, I'm wearing the full Norwich <laughs> away. Oh, nice. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. Who doesn't love an area kit? Um, genuinely. Ugh. So what are you going to go for then? I just got a nice, I just got, just honestly, what I'd wear at a gig. It's not dissimilar to this. I'm not going Oh, I've, full. Got, I've got a flamboyant piece. All right. Okay, cool. I'll get the Macho Man Randy Savage outfit for the second half. Right, cool. That's what you wanted. If that's what you wanted. What, what are you going for? It's a surprise. Can no, I just not, say, not for you. For, for the first section, when I'm doing stand up, in that first half, it's you and me doing stand up. Yeah. I just want to look like a stand up. Yeah. So that's that outfit I've already got. It's normal. But if we are going daft for the podcast section, no, not daft. No, I want to look for. I, this might be the last time I met ever in an arena. In an arena? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not even going to watch anything no. ever again. This is the last time I might ever perform an arena. For the, burn it down. For the sixth time I've ever been on stage, you know. So I want to look like fucking... I want to look back when I'm 16 and go, fucking hell, that was sick. So I'm wearing something a bit, a bit out there, shall we say. All right, cool. Something a bit jazzy. 
It's a bit jazzy, like, but everyone's gonna go. Everyone's gonna want to suck me off. If I can I find get, a, full... I am getting a suit for the after party. I know you're not, but oh, I am. Cool. Right, cool. What's your, what's the? So you are wearing stuff for the stand up bit? What are you wearing for the pod bit? Have you got? Have you got an idea? Cowboy. I haven't thought about the pod bit. I think I'm gonna go like nice new bomber jacket, maybe a leather for the first bit, for the stand up bit. Leather, Be normal look, but leather, like leather trousers, leather gloves. No, go, no, full, leather trousers. go full, go full, go no. full Ross Geller. No, that'd be Ooh. silly. Good, good. Oh, genuinely, I have thought about this as well. I might. I haven't decided on this yet for sure. Yeah. I might wear a trackie for the stand up bit. All right, cool. Yeah, because who else gets to wear a trackie in an arena? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's literally the thought behind it. It's literally fucking once. Match, can, uh, who's here? F- Finn, can you just source Macho Man Randy Savage full outfit? You're going to wear that yeah. green one green you got from River Island that time? Do you remember that? Oh, we were no, walking I'm away. a bit smarter than that. Like a smart tracky. Leon, it's a nice Thank idea you. with the Christmas jumpers. We are going to go bazookas, though. So please bring <laughs> your bazookas along. It's suits. less people. When I say suits, I don't think I'm going suit suits. I think I'm going jacket. like dark trousers, light jacket, like Ooh. a like a cream. Oh, dear. That sounds beautiful. All right, Trini and Suzanne. A, right. a bit of ham hanging out, yeah? Fucking speed round, lad. Oh, are you getting the girls out? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting... <laughs> I'm, I'm going a bit Ricky Martin, no tie and like four buttons. You going new? Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. <laughs> Ricky Martin. Oh, he's going Ricky Ponton. He's wearing cricket Martin. whites. <laughs> I'm having like four buttons undone. I'm getting a chain. Yeah, well, you will not look Ricky Martin. You look like Osama Bin Laden at his college do. <laughs> White shirt, silk. Ironically, getting four buttons out. undone. <laughs> White and silk. And a gold chain. It looks like a black. For the after party. Yeah. <laughs> right, cool. Right. <laughs> Okay, that night then, because you'd suit it. I might do a bit of coke. <laughs> Shut Sil- it down. Silk shirt is almost it, like needs to happen. Like that's the fucking. And I've got us no. some absolute hang fucking on, bogus on. cigars, by the way. I've I'll got us do, the best cigars I'll money do can a buy silk for fucking, a reasonable price. I'll do a silk shirt. If we're going knobheads, no, 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 I no, thought no, you wanted no, like no, a wedding no, suit. No, no, silk shirt isn't knobhead. I'm not talking like silly. I'm talking like you've got a bit of fucking bit of ham hanging out, bit of a chain, you know. I've got a gold chain. Who are you, after guys? Party. Wait, the guys are just another fucking arena. It's got a crucifix on it. <laughs> yes. I have every one of my friends and family. All my people are going to be there at that after party, and it's the weirdest feeling ever. I didn't have a 40th birthday party. I have had no gig that everyone's come to. I can't think of a... Like, my best mates, all of them, um, like, apart from Sean, who's in South Africa, and all Laura's family, my... Si- I can't believe how many people have gone, yeah, yeah, we're there. It's the nicest thing. I can't wait for the arena show. I'm more it's excited for the after party. After going, 100%. I never get all my peeps together. It's fucking unbelievable. I always get all my peeps together, but it's still going to be nice. Um, speed so, round. Yeah, think of your yeah. shirt, Silk, white shirt. White. Cufflinks. <laughs> what cufflinks? Ham. You, you need a ham hanging out. Got to get the ham out. Yeah, well, I'm going like four buttons Two on fucking legs. Four, it's only six Two legs, legs on off. <laughs> it looks like you haven't done it up yet. <laughs> No one's respecting the speed, man. Oh, Dan, I think you should go four buttons undone with a tie. Huh? I'm getting a horse-themed belt buckle. It's going to have an auto. A Ferrari one. Ab- oh, yeah, like an absolute fucking <laughs> bastard of a belt buckle. Why did you move the mic nearer your dick to show us your dick? <laughs> Lads, I'm going to get a fucking hell of a buckle. <laughs> yeah, you are, Adam. <laughs> I've got my shiny shoes from New Year last year. Oh, lovely! Going with them, lovely. Little pocket square. Have you ever seen the uh, Ever seen the Mexicans in Breaking Bad? The brothers. Yeah. Have you ever seen their shoes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wearing... <laughs> that shiny. Yes. You've got like a skull on the front of them. Oh, nice. So if you kick someone, they're dead. Yeah. Uh, Texas got a clip on diamond earring. You <laughs> <laughs> were messing. I want to just look smart. Exactly. <laughs> You're not going to look smart, are you? You're going to look like a special kid who won the Euro Millions. <laughs> Mama like that. Mama like that. <laughs> so, Dan, you better step your game up because, as you know, you know, we're making a <laughs> <laughs> the ham. Bringing the ham. Right, speed round. 
Come on, so says. Oh, no, come on, come on, big guy. Wow. Respect the speed round. Black X. Oh, yeah. Cream jacket. White top. Ooh. Brown belt. Like an ice cream, man. <laughs> Just found 5p. <laughs> Brown belt. Blue shoes. <laughs> Don't step on them. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> this is our big after party. <laughs> We're having it at Wimpy. Yeah, shout out Wimpy. Thanks for hosting the uh, the after party. Wimpy Matthew Street. Wimpy on Matthew Street. <laughs> Behind flares. Behind flares. Next to the rubber soul. <laughs> our, our new haunt. Oh, I love it in there. It's just the atmosphere, isn't it? It's great pint of Guinness, isn't it? Yeah, the bag is a boss as well. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Camalto says, Who? Wag Wag Lid. Camalto? <laughs> what did you say? That's his oh, name. He's, he's done he's you there, mate. He's absolutely done oh. you. He's done you. Camalto. Camalto. Oh, you absolute soft sausage. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking soft sausage. Adam, just privately. You can go too hard sometimes. <laughs> Are you absolute soft sausage? Like the soft sausage you get at Wimpy. Mm. Behind flares, Matthew. behind flares, Matthew Sheets near the rubber soul. <laughs> um, by the way, if you call yourself whatever you, if you name yourself, Don't I will say read it. That I will read Why it. Why would you say that? I said that. I said that ages ago. I said that tons of on on the Patreon particularly. Call yourself whatever you want. I'll read your name. Uh, Count Alto says Wag Wag Lids. Uh, saw a news story the other day about a girl who got stopped at airport security because she had a metal butt plug in, oh, yeah. which contained her boyfriend's ashes. If one of you died, what unique device would you use to store their ashes? Um, first of all... So hang on, whoa, whoa. is the question, I've died, what am I putting my ashes in? No. Or you've died, what am I putting your ashes in? No, when you're dead, <laughs> we all get uh, a split of your ashes. I get 40%, Carl gets 20%. And then we can do, <laughs> yeah, we can do what so we it's want. So what, what I'm putting your ashes in. Yeah, some you don't them. get to pick what your own ashes go in. Yeah, you, you're not having all my ashes. Okay, but I guess I some. want part of me not fuck with. Okay, Grand, Granddad Don, uh, Laura's granddad, is in a um, little ceramic star that's on our fridge. My nan's in a little um, locker. Tell my mum. Yeah, uh, my mum's in out on graveyard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mine's mine's in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> she Come died. On. She died before the whole sticker on the fridge era. People do do they do the jewelry? Do don't any, that's what I'm saying. Me, and my mum's got a little. Uh, bit Carl, if you died, yes, God forbid, I would have you put in a vape, and I'd smoke you. Oh, that's really funny. That's so oh. disrespectful. Yeah. Oh, Carl, I miss you. I'd have you put in some dry shampoo. <laughs> Never use me. No. <laughs> uh, what would you want? What? Where? Where, where would you want to be? Where would you want to be? Cock ring. No. Oh, you want to be in a cock ring? So what's the deal with cock rings? It's to keep you hard. Three for two. For Valentine's Day. <laughs> Morrison's. <laughs> <laughs> Twix lolly aces. Or Twix Morrison's aces. cock rings. I want to be sprinkled on the pen penalty spot at the cop end of Anfield. The penalty. <laughs> when he dies, don't take him to the hospital. Take him to Anfield and bury him there. <laughs> if I'm dying, don't take me to the Aussie. Take me to Anfield. Yeah, but you're not dead yet. I don't give a fuck. Retrieve me on the yeah. fucking penalty spot. Oh, what, the cop end spot. On the penalty spot, yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm, I need you near. I need you close. Put me in your watch. Yeah? So every time you check what time it is, you're like, oh, time one to I remember bought Adam. You. The one I bought uh, you. It's time that I got that didn't. Adam didn't. It's the time I wore Carl's watch. Um, uh, Finn, <laughs> what would we do for Finn? Because we, we we've need, got to uh, put we've got to put Finn in a bomb. Yeah, we're smoking Finn, aren't we? Let's be honest. Oh, what I'd want. Let's get high on Finn. Yeah. yeah, just put an episode of Poirot on. Yeah, oh, lick the poof. So, just to reference that, if you're not a patron, <laughs> that is a piece of furniture that we uh, we joked about licking, just so you don't try and to end Finn's the podcast. Been dating a woman and he's been licking her funny, so we called it licking the poof. Here you go, Finn. <laughs> While watching Paro. Oh, that's what she likes. Yeah. She's a massive Paro. She's a woman. massive David Six Six fan. He's a massive Welsh woman. What, what do you want to. What, um, so, what's Adam in then? You're in a. What's he in? I want. 
I want Dan to keep me in his watch, so every time he looks at his watch, he's like, oh, it's time to remember Adam. I like it. Yeah. I'd like to be, I, honestly, I'd like a little urn in the Frog and Bucket dressing room. I, I, and just, just on a little plaque saying, you think you just died. I'd love that. I'd really love to be part really of my ashes I like that should to be in a, in a comedy club dressing room. You know when people have got I want to be posters. thrown out of a plane. Right. It's the only time I'm ever going skydiving. I'm <laughs> too scared to do it while I'm alive. Just <laughs> Once you're dead, just douse, fear of death's gone, isn't it? Douse your urn in sangria. No, just literally throw the urn out with a parachute on. <laughs> <laughs> with with a parachute. Did you ever used to put a parachute on your action, action man? Action men. Oh my God. Do you ever used to make a parachute out of a plastic bag? I know, I had, yeah. I had parachute and put it on your action man and throw it up and he'd float down. If I said this, you'd absolutely rip me for being old, but I'm so I'm so chuffed that you you did this shit as well. I had parachute action man. Yeah. I don't want that doing with me in, but out of a plane. Right. Out of a fighter pilot jet. Out of a fighter pilot jet. <laughs> he opens the thing. He dies as well. He gets sucked <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. Right, cool. We'll, we'll, we'll arrange that. We'll arrange that. Sick idea, yeah. Yeah. So bad for you, the ejector seat in it. What am I? My uncle got ejector seated when he was in uh, in the RAF. Did he fuck his neck? Shrunk his neck. Shrunk it, shrunk it. Yeah, he's got com uh, had a compressed spine afterwards. Shit. I mean, only by a quarter of an inch or something, but that's enough to like. So he's like this. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how he is. But it fucked, right him up, fucked him up. Fucked him up. Early doors. Is he alright? Yeah, he's. It's really not caused like paralysis or nothing. No. It's it caused him, yeah, major major problems with his back. He's always had issues with because you're basically o o over a firework, aren't you? You just fucking bangs you yeah. out. Mad. Can he you was not one train of the, for it by sitting on a Catherine wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. That's what they do in the <laughs> RAF. They go only do it once a year, bonfire night. If you're if you're a if you're a pilot, you don't get to enjoy it with your family. You have to be at RAF whatever and just fucking sit on fireworks. You'll f you'll thank us, lads. <laughs> He got a little. He got a little pin. He was one of the first like few dozen people to really. Why was he ejected? He said, "Was he fighting? He was doing a, a dog fight. He was doing a aerial training. This is totally true. Uh, the, also, this is a story that's this is like the early seventies or late sixties, um, and they were both training, and they came through a cloud and and hit another uh, and went over another plane. Fuck off! They died, and they were ejected out. Yeah, in training. In training." Yeah. And he went on to fly planes a lot. Yeah, because he's fearless now. Do you feel so he that? was fucked. He, he an inch went off his neck, and he was, he was still hospital. he was in he hospital. still flew planes. Uh, he never he was never a fighter pilot. I don't. I think he just worked for the I'm not <laughs> Britannia. Do you remember Britannia? Yeah, he was a captain for Britannia. Oh, I thought you were like a steward. Yeah, he was a steward. <laughs> Peanuts. <laughs> Why'd you talk like that? Only a spinal damage. <laughs> You want do, you, do, you, did you have ever, do you have ever? Did you ever have any dreams of flying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What being a pilot? Yeah, yeah. I was in Air Scouts. Was you? Oh yeah, of course you were. Yeah, I yeah. forgot about that. Yeah, go. You look like a failed pilot. Thank you. <laughs> it's the hat and glasses. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> you look like Sterling Moss. He's the driver, doesn't he? <laughs> you look a failed pilot. You look pilot. like a someone who wanted to be a pilot and ended up a commentator. I'd, yeah, I like. you, uh, of all the forces, that how is that not the one you fancy? Oh, I wanted to be on the front line with a machine gun. Me, I just it, you know when you're young, you're like, w I, everyone has a preference. I think I ne never put me in the navy. Fuck that! I'd rather fall out of the sky than drown. What is that? So there's the na the sea, the land, and the sky, isn't there? There's there the is. army. Is there a mountain one? Yes, there is the, the famous British army. Mountain Rangers. Mountain Rangers. Go, oh, we're going Mountain Rangers. Don't remember the program? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Dan, do you fear death? <laughs> <laughs> Just watched the beautiful Richard Hammond video last night. I don't know oh, if you all saw it. I saw it. it, yeah. About him talking about when he was about to die in the coma. Have you seen it? No. It's so he's in the Lake enough. District, right? Under a tree? Yeah. yeah. And he sits under... I have seen it and then didn't watch it. <laughs> watch he watch. sits under the tree and he's like... Remember when I had that crash, yeah? Uh, he's bevied, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. me up and I'm scouts now. <laughs> like, remember when I had that crash, yeah? I was in that coma for a bit. A fucking doctor called me missus in, didn't he? And he's like, listen, love. Park your ass. You've missed a bit, me. like, you've missed a bit. I'll get to it. Why? Because I'm telling it in my own way. Right. He's like, listen, love. Park your ass. Got some news for you. So she's in the hospital. 
He's in the ward, right? In a coma. Fucked. Morphine off his swat. In Leeds. In Leeds. Oh, awful. That's the worst of it. But while he was a kid, while he was in that coma, he was just, in his mind, he was just wandering the Lake District. Just having a little stroll. This happy place, essentially. Yeah. In the, he was in walking the... around. And he found this tree that other times he's just walked past many a time. When he would wander the Lake District, he had his little tree and he'd like look at it and be like, oh, there's my tree. But this time, he went to the tree. But he had this overwhelming feeling that he was in trouble. And he likened it to, you know when you were a kid and your ma was like, hey, Daniel, you better be back here by 7.01 or I'll be fucking angry. She was like that. Right? And you go, fucking hell, 7.03, I'm meant to be home. You know that feeling? You got like, oh, I'm going to be in trouble because I'm yeah. late. Yeah, yeah. Right? He got that feeling as he was walking towards the tree. In his coma. Yeah, he, in said, his it, coma. he said it got, yeah. as he got closer to the tree, it got progressively stronger. This He's like, oh shit, I'm in trouble. So that's happening while he's a kid. Meanwhile, back in the other room that I mentioned before, foreshadowing. See, I'm a storyteller. Foreshadowing by telling the story. The doctor goes, listen, Ricky, fuck love. Might not make it. Don't know what to tell you. Not really anything. We can do at this stage. Not looking good. All his vitals. Through the floor. Goosed. Game over. Mm. And she goes, can I fucking scream at him? Please, can I just go and shout at him? Call him a gobshite. Yeah. Right? She goes into the room, shouts at him. It's like, you better not fucking die, you stupid cunt. Driving that car into that wall, you fucking messing, I'll punch your fucking head and you die. Swear to God. So loving. Right? He woke up. No, so when she was screaming at him, it was when he got to the tree and he turned round and walked back. And as he walked back, he woke up. So he was essentially walking. The tree to was his, death. Yeah. yeah. Since he walked into his death. And she woke him up by screaming around him. Or like brought him back into the So know. just recently he's been he's been found walking in the Lake District and gone to the tree. He just told the story on a yeah. video, yeah. He says he goes to the tree often. He and said it's it now makes at him peace feel peace with it. Yeah. He's at peace and he knows that he'll go back there one day when he's ready. When he's dying. Yeah. So like he's not scared of death. Now he's got this this he knows what it is, he knows what happens. Yeah. Just such a nice thing to, like it's such a but nice if thing the tree is death once you get to the tree when there he is a, said walk there, past it see he, I'm not asked about the tree or the walk to the tree I'm just a little concerned with what is beyond the tree but serenity isn't like, it that's the point serenity. it's his happy place it's his serenity but he's still conscious as he, an atheist yeah, he hasn't died has he no. yeah as an atheist I'm a little worried that you get have to you the tree have you got a happy place here um you don't fear death, do you? Yes, absolutely, yeah. Well, you do? Oh. Yeah, because if, if you're an atheist, how do you not fear death? Is yeah, it? If you're an atheist, you know that you're just not aware. I don't want to be not aware. But you won't know. You won't be aware. It's like, I, I'd like to get to the point where my life is like a really long, great day out. Where you know you get to the end of a day and you've had a really good day. You've been out, you've hung out with your mates, family had a few beers. It's gone on. Quite late, and then you get in bed and you're like, Oh, do you know what? I've had a fucking blinder today. But if someone went, Do you want to do anything else? You'd be like, Nah, I'm done. I just literally want my bed. I want my life and my death to be like that long, amazing day out where I finally get to the end, hopefully 85, and just go, Sound, I'm done. I am about quarter to one in the afternoon right now in the day of my life, and I would shit it if I had to go to bed. That's how I see it. I, I am scared of death because I've got so much more living. See, I, I to understand do. exactly what you're saying, but I'm always the last one out. I want to be out till six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Adam's never done. If it. you're the last one out, yeah. It, it's it, yeah, impressive. Like 5 a.m. That's what I want to live to based on your time scale. You're, you're, you're seeing midnight as the end of the day there based on what you've just said. 5 a.m. is mine. I, I need to be 112 or I'm not going to be happy. Adam needs to be, you know, Needing to sh- shit himself with a kebab before he, he dies. Should have gone home two hours ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My granddad's ninety seven. Well. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna overstay yeah. my yeah. welcome <laughs> on my own dignitas. What? Well, where's your happy place? Where's my happy place? It can be like it can be like a certain spot or like an area or like a like your it's home. Genuinely or, in here, in, in the entire world. I don't know, man. There's some bits you'd say the countryside, wouldn't you? No, but I'm saying, have you got a specific, like... Can I be really I, wanky? I'm a kid, like, you went to Ambleside, and you got... Can like, I be really wanky? Go on. There's moments on stage doing stand-up. That's definitely yeah. That are so... 
um, what I have driven my life for. But I, I haven't got one happy place. I got back last night. I've been away most of the last eight or nine days. I've not seen loads of the kids. And I got back and Laura was, she was just knackered. She's just been doing one on one parent, well, one on two parented. And I hung around with them little knobheads for about an hour and a half, just revved them up. We all did bath time. And that's another happy place. I sometimes look at them now and think there'll be a point in five, 10, 15 years when now I'm like, oh God, they're full on, aren't they? And I'll miss this. Yeah, of course. Because when I walk in, everyone goes, daddy! It's moments like that. I think that. I'll I'll probably have feelings like that if and when I have kids. Yeah. I think for me, genuinely, my happy place is four pints in with a group of people that I love. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, there's, there's yeah. Just Everyone's just I, don't, I genuinely beat. don't think I'm ever that happy. <laughs> My granddad's 97. He's in hospital now. He's been in hospital two and a half weeks and it's not looking good. He's quarter past 12 there, isn't he? He, it, he is. I don't, we don't have, we don't have the conversations where are you scared of death? But he looks like he couldn't give a fuck. Because yeah, he, he, he you definitely know, doesn't give a fuck. I just think, it's weird though because your instinct is you want to survive and everything. Fear, there's probably still a fear because all you've never known is living. But if I got to 97, yeah, I'd, I'd have no fear. Right now, I, w I want yeah, more. Of I want more of those now. moments. I want more of those tree-like moments. I want more moments with my kids. I want to, you know. So I would, I would be absolutely scared of death, not because of what it is, because of what you lose. Yeah, like you, you lose time. Are you for eternity. I've said before, you die twice. You die when you die, and you die when the last person says your name. Coco. Yeah. No one says your name again. You don't exist anymore. <sighs> Episode 200. <laughs> got a bit morbid. Hey, we can be fucking deep as well. Speed round. Great speed round. <laughs> oh, shout out Bob Nightingale. I don't know if he's going to make it, but... Bobby, uh, Bobby Nice. Bobby. Bobby Nice. Yeah. Bobby, Bobby Nice. Okay, now. Last, last grandparent. It's a fucking sick name, that, by the way. Oh, yeah. Bobby Nightingale. Yeah. Go see Bobby. Say yeah. Say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shall, we, uh, shall we have a break? Should I have a break? Get called on lane. Everyone go and contemplate their mortality. Yes. I'd love I'd love to know who the sponsor is for this. What's the sponsor that we're about to go in? Better help. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, everyone? It's time to tell you about our sponsor, manscaped.com, who are now available in all Tesco retail stores all over Ireland. So if you're from the Emerald Isle and your balls need a bit of a waz, get down to Tesco, buy yourself a manscaped, or or go to manscaped.com and use the promo code WEIRD20. What can they get from Manscaped, Dan? They can get loads of different stuff. They can get this. It's ball deodorant. <laughs> the pair of knickers. An under, they call them underpants. They're great. Look at this crop preserver because you've got smelly pubes. Cut them down. You'll have less. Then rub this on them. They'll smell better. When I was in Dundalk, I'll tell you this. This is a personal thing. All of the pubes I saw on the men in Dundalk yeah. were hairy. Too many. <laughs> I remember thinking when I was in Dundalk on my tour of Ireland, I was like, these, these lads need a shave. And now they can because they're available at all Tesco Island retail stores. Listen, there's also the weed whacker. This is like a nose and ear trimmer. Uh, this is the performance package 4.0. You get a couple of free gifts with it as well. You get the boxies. There's the ball deodorants, the crop preserver. These are our longest going sponsors. They're our favourites and they're great. It is the best immense below the belt grooming available now in Ireland at all the Tesco in Ireland retail stores and at manscaped.com. If you use the promo code WEIRD, 20 you get free shipping worldwide and 20 percent off that's island our, wide that's our gift to you because we're sound God, christmas God. is coming Don't talk. your cock is getting hairy dublin. shave it off kilkenny and find yourself a mary galway cork dublin and dundalk episode 200 and one of the finest in the game carlos chodonnelly oh is it on it, yeah, I was itching my eyes. Sorry, you can still see him. Itching your eyes. I itch your eyes. Yeah, yeah. You want some of your eye drops? No. Okay, cool. Eye drops or eye gel? Have you ever heard of eye gel? Oh, I do not gel. I um, it's, apparently it's better for you. So it's, like, it's a bit gross. You put like, it's like a little cream you put in your oh, eye. You eye under good. there. You get them in there, oh. and it creates a barrier on the eyeballs rather than the drops, which just moisturise a little bit. Oh, I think Alfie Brown has this thing that you spray on your clothes eyelids like this. And it makes you feel refreshed. Right. Face oh, Sarah has got that before bed. It's great. Yeah. It, it's like having a line for your eyes. 
My wife's got a bunch of bottles of stuff that is called like face mist, but it's got crystals in it. <laughs> so like it's you know like it ah. says like moonstones. Yeah, we've we've page. just learned a lot about your wife <laughs> <laughs> in one <laughs> sentence. <laughs> well, fucking crystals in it, babe. Yeah, she's a pro. Like we did a moon. Full moon ceremony the <laughs> night before my... I mean, when I say we, she started it. Oh, I've done and that I had now. to get involved. You've I done a moon you ceremony. Speak to, you speak to him now? Well, she did it the night before my daughter was born and she went due for weeks and there was no sign she was going to be prem- premature. It's not two weeks ain't premature, is it? It's early. early. A little bit early. And uh, and my wife, there was a full moon. She went, I want to do a full moon ceremony. So we went. Out, we had to go out in the garden and put a row, like a circle of candles right we lived in a downstairs flat and there's neighbors <laughs> that could overlook they would have thought we were doing some pagan shit and we had all we had to sit in the middle and write things on a bit of paper and yeah. burn it and then a few hours later my wife went into labor and you've had a werewolf and yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's nice isn't it can i ask you a question yes right, so she what's your wife's name hannah D- she believes in all this stuff 100 percent. do you i <laughs> i'm one of these people that says i don't but then de- secretly, I think I do because every loads of weird things always happens like that. Whenever I don't believe it, then something happens. I'm like this with psychics. I've had. A, I once went. I once I was at a festival and I got a palm. You ever had your palm read? Yeah. Bollock. It's all bollocks, isn't it? Right. Yeah. But she, I didn't believe any of it, and I thought she was a bit of a div. And then halfway through, she stopped and she looked at something. And she went, "Have you got the gift?" And suddenly, I was like. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, the moment she sort of, you know, pledged oh, my a, ego, I yeah. suddenly was like, yeah, actually, I do believe this stuff. You know, now I've got the gift. So, Just speak I, to the moon. I don't, I don't speak to the moon. Well, no, you've got to agree that on full moons, gigs are weirder. You don't notice yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 100%. we talk about it all the time. Once definitely. a month, I'm like, did you have a good gig last night? He said, was it yeah. weird? And he's like, it was dead yeah. weird. And I'm like, yes, yeah, see the moon. It definitely yeah. does have some Are you meant to ask a full moon for like the things yeah. you want? Going well, um, forward, what, yeah, uh, once a month. What, we're talking of, about it. But then, when you say that, do you mean like I would like to have a good year personally, or can you ask it for? What, like, so I, I wish for pussy and money. You, know I mean? you can't ask for just physical. <laughs> He asked for pussy and money in there. Oh, pussy and money. Pussy and money. Every single form. Of <laughs> Every single form. <laughs> Once a month in the phone calendar. Oh yeah, I've got to ask him for pussy and money. <laughs> no, I, come on. I'm not into it, but Selica is. So I, I want to get involved because I don't want to, don't want to go that shit. Yeah. So, involved. so we went down to Waterspool Prom for like the super moon like three months ago. Yeah, yeah. Remember that the fucking massive one? And you sit there and you go, ah, oh, the one like... It's the same moon now, isn't it? Yeah, it just looks, it's closer. What, isn't it? oh, is yeah. that? Oh, it's closer. Sorry, what? what it, I find it less annoying from Carl. <laughs> Donnelly. <laughs> Carl, you went to Otterspool. I live, I live near Otterspool. Right. Prom, yeah. To the super moon. Yeah, I don't go on moon. I go fucking super moon. <laughs> That's, it's the big one. And, the big and everyone was just there wish casting into a big old moon. No. We were. Oh, I thought there was a crowd of you. No. What did you What did you hope for? Um, I don't know. He meant to say your wishes. Isn't doesn't that make them not come true? It's not your birthday. Do you believe in it? Well, I don't. It's, I don't want to do it and then go. Oh fuck it, because I've done it now. So why not stick to it? Nice. I am very. Was it? What was I'm it? But was it a big wish or was it like? It was like specific? little things like for me mum and me life and me family okay. and shit like that and this obviously. Nice. Is it nice? It's, putting, nice. Like, it's not. It's not. It's no. There's no negative in doing it, is there? No, and I'm I'm not, like I'm well, spiritual no. a little bit, but I don't believe it fully. But I thought, why not? Get I do the same thing when I'm having a shit. <laughs> so just sit down, pray like, for a release. Oh God, I want a new studio. That was <laughs> I had a massive shit in March. I wish cast a shit, and I was like, in the middle of town near L1, and look at and yeah. someone visited you in your dream that night, and they were like, like we are going to sort it for you, but it's going to yeah. take five to six months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll have to source your own brick slips. Yeah, I don't know what a I did a shit is, so like. bad in a pub three weeks ago that me and my mate had to leave the pub. <laughs> That's absolutely like, I bombed out the toilet so hard, like it was like overflowing. Like it was a full day. If if I had this oh, that policy, Carl, there'd God. be three pubs in the UK that I'd still be allowed in. <laughs> be barred from every pub in the land. It was so bad. I like I hit the flush and I saw the water just coming oh, out. That's oh, that's so no. scary. Dusted can it go over yeah. the seat? Because I always think, yeah, that. It can. oh man, it can. can yeah, because I've so I've done rough. that before. Usually, it's not just you. There's a problem before. Yeah, of course. Like it I takes a, a lot up. to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but so like, you I, think it's you doing a terrible shit? It could have been like two terrible yeah, shits, and then you've done one that is. Bigger than normal, <laughs> right? You know, I was aware of what had happened in the lead up to flushing, <laughs> and uh, and when I hit it and I saw it, I just I grabbed everything and just ran out. Sometimes I look back and I, I am like, that is too much stuff to be in one toilet. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's a vegan. Yeah. I thought it would be healthy. They are. But Have you ever smelled a, a vegan's fart or a shite? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always sniffing around, Carl. Have you not though? But, no, Carl. 
I Break the news to them. They don't smell that bad. Depends what you're eating. If you're eating loads of vegan junk food, if you have a healthy period of eating in mung beans and stuff, what? it's clean. Mung beans. Out. Mung beans. Clean snaps. No, you know. Clean snaps. Yeah. A Gillian McKeith dream. <laughs> Do you believe in psychics? Well, <laughs> I don't know. Well, no, but also I've had weird things happen. Like? I had, uh, I, 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 who was I talking to about this recently? I might have mentioned it on our podcast, but... I, do you know Lou Conran? Very funny comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's sort of, and she's, you know, her. I think her mum's a medium, right? That sounds like a rude That's a large. Take on her. <laughs> <laughs> no, he means like the. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I knew. <laughs> oh, she's she's got the gift. Well, this is it. So Lou has the gift, right? But um, she, we did a seance together in Edinburgh one night, midnight seance, and um, like with an audience. And then we had a Ouija board and it kept pointing at me. So the, I wasn't on it and everyone kept doing it. And the, the thing kept pointing at me and saying, and going to the letters MD. And no one knew what it meant. I didn't even know what it Good meant at the time. Out. And it turns out <laughs> yeah, in a former was, life, you had your medical doctorate. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, yeah, the ghost wanted some drugs off me. But um, no, and after the thing, Lou didn't say anything to me during the show. And afterwards she came up to me and went, look, I just need to ask you something weird. Um, do, do you know any amputees? And I was like... Uh, I thought about it. I was like, well, my uncle was an amputee. My uncle, Michael Dunn. And uh, and he was a double amputee. And she said it, that was him. Like, how did she know? No, they, I'd never mentioned anything about knowing any amputees. And uh, she ke- it kept pointing at me and saying MD. So as much as I don't believe it, that's so he's weird. there. Is he died? He died, yeah, yeah. No, he wasn't pushing it. Can, wasn't I, just, can I just say? <laughs> he was in the circle. Carl! Carl! <laughs> One hand up. Can I just say, oh. yeah. I am a big fan of podcasting. And we do a lot, and I there's some that I love, there's some that I'm ambivalent towards. But mm. the clip where you talked about that, and Julian Dean landed that gag about the double yamp, he went, What, 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 uh, what limbs was he missing? Oh, and yeah, you were like, No, I'm in a leg. And Julian took a beat and went, Fuck, he must have bought something really expensive. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's fucking, oh, that is Julian's to a T. Yeah. We need to get Julian in, don't we? Get him in. He's, the, yeah, he's so funny, but he is, yeah, he can't, he's got Tourette's. You cannot jokes, say anything jokes serious about. Yeah, without him going the worst route His possible. hotel room joke is one of my favourite jokes ever. Yeah. Which one's that? That's not ruining it for me. <laughs> not just being but a he, joke but of his He's own. learned to have the conversation and do the joke. Yeah. yeah. I did a podcast with him, my old podcast, Dan Nightingale's in the house. I was in London. I went and did him and Rich Wilson in a day. Because I was down in London, I was kicking around. I was like, I'm going to go and record. So we were at Julian Dean's house and it took two and a half hours. I had to edit it down to about an hour and 40 because we couldn't have a conversation for him just seeing jokes and doing yeah, jokes. Yeah, and it yeah. was like, it was it was just, it, when you, you've got to get the timing and the and the time for the joke right. That was one of the best podcast clips. Uh, it's just so I beautiful. Vittorio, Vittorio was watching it in Nando's oh, cool. the other day. Oh, it's so perfect. Yes. You, you don't believe in psychics, do you? <laughs> What? I think Adam's on the psychic train today. Oh, because it's not. Do you believe in him? What, so what's the, do you what, believe what's in your ghosts? opinion? Do on you it? believe in I haven't got one. Because if you believe. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. He's trying to crowdsource an opinion. <laughs> if you believe in ghosts, if you believe in the afterlife, and you, yeah. then you're not an atheist. You can't be. I'm not an atheist. If you believe that death is. No, I'm saying. If you believe that death is the end, that's the end that's of it. That's not atheist. Atheist is anti theism. Theism is the belief in a religion. Yeah, not spirituality. All right, well, I'm anti the whole fucking lot then. I think death is the end. There is no soul. So how do you explain the Luke Conrad thing then? I, 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 I honestly can't. Explain this one. <laughs> explain this but one. But Lou right? is, you know. Explain this one. A friend of mine, right? A friend of mine. Good friend of yours. Yeah, went to see a psychic, very famous psychic called Phoebe. She's dead uh, now. <laughs> she's the Black right? Pearl one. Phoebe. No, she didn't have film. She never saw that bus coming. No, she didn't. Uh, but Phoebe Spam would have been was fun. like, sit down. Right, sit down. No, right. Give your hand. She was blood. Right? <laughs> so, so done. A scouse. Tell her in my way. It's Richard Hammond. Hey, Richard Hammond. <laughs> Don't you fucking die, you knobhead. What a sit fucking down. mortgage. And she was like, right. And she, she went through the whole rigmarole. And then she went, oh my God. Because psychics are often good at predicting the past. Which is easy to do. Yeah. It's all predicted in the past. <laughs> I think this is recounts in the past. Yeah, you want to watch out for that Hitler chap, right? <laughs> but very like rarely musical. do they predict the future and have it come true. Yeah, especially with lottery numbers. Go on. And Phoebe said to this friend of mine, "Oh my god, I don't worry about it, right?" And my mate was like, "What was that?" And Phoebe was like, "It's your uncle. I seen him on a roof." Yeah. Oh god. Right. 
It was but a river. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. don't... But it was Rod Hull. <laughs> but don't worry. <laughs> He's going to be okay. Yeah. Like, he, he'll get talked down. At the time, my friend's uncle was in a mental institution. You kidding? Right? <laughs> The very next night... This is hitting different, this one. The very next <laughs> night. Not the next night. He got on the roof of the mental hospital oh and was threat- threatening to kill himself. Right. I but think then got talked down. It's in her best interest to make that happen, though. Fucking hell. She might have went in there and gone, get on the roof, lad. <laughs> get on the roof. Because <laughs> yeah. everyone's going to hear this story on that the podcast. Fire exit. Oh, fire exit. Explain oh. that. Oh, do you know what? Let me just check. <laughs> Hang on. Maybe she says that to everyone. Oh, no, I've done my research. I can't. That does happen. I've told you the one she might said it to everyone that ever visits her. <laughs> yeah. Just so that one she day She will it be right. Yeah, it's the only story she ever tells. I told you one with Seneca in the, in the school she visited with the uh, non verbal autistic lad. Yeah, you told us this on the podcast a while back. Yeah, when, she, when he grabbed her arm and kept spelling out her dad's name on his uh, keyboard. And her dad died, obviously, a couple of years ago. And she was like, yeah, what the fuck? Explain that, Dan, if death's the end. Fucking hell. That's just the beginning, mate. That's just changed everything for me, this chap. <laughs> <laughs> don't get on the roof. Yeah, and don't go boozing with Carl when he's in a pub. Just in case you need a shit. <laughs> Carl, I think we should do a full moon ceremony as a pod. Fuck right um, off. I'll tell Why? you what the next full moon is. The next full moon. Oh, I'm busy. I'm gigging. Um, I'm gigging to some spanners. Uh, Spanish. December the 17th. There you go. Oh... Oh, that's actually a very traditional day for me and my family. It's the day where I sit on my ass on my couch and watch no, NFL. We're doing a full moon ceremony. I've got a roof in a city centre. We'll be able to see the roof. Maybe see the moon. Let's see the roof. We'll get on the roof and we'll do it on the roof. Would you do a Ouija board? We've done like a creep. Have oh, you done a Ouija board? We did. did you find it creep? But did you we find did, it creep? We did a seance in a haunted you castle. Believe any of it? Would you? If you're still creeped out, that means at some point, some level, you do believe a bit of it. No, we did do a seance in a haunted castle and Dan was taking the piss out of the ghosts. I'm farted. <laughs> well, what ghosts? If you don't believe in them, mate, you can't take the piss out of no one. Yeah. I was, we've, I've been to two of the most haunted places in the UK. Yeah. And the first one, the most scary thing about it was the fucking smell. <laughs> that was ah, Carl's mum's <laughs> vagina. <laughs> <laughs> You lost. The, that's the thing. You had the post there, sorry. The, we're taking Barry Dodds. It was a little bit scary in there, let's be honest. It wasn't nice. It was you initially. Saw, you've been before. I saw something. No one me. else did. No one else right. did. Yeah. Yeah. Carl was sat in the house on his own. See? I don't believe in it, but I saw like a, a shadow that couldn't have been a shadow because it wasn't connected to the floor oh, of the right. ceiling. Right. It was like a black thing. Just went past the door dead quick. I saw it at the corner of my eye. Yeah. And then Barry said afterwards, like, yeah, that's what people see here. And that doesn't make me believe it, but I that's what I saw. I don't think, oh, shit, it's a ghost. But I'm like, I did see the thing that people say they see there. Right. And I hope Adam saw something because he ran out there screaming after about a minute and 10 seconds. <laughs> was the minute I, I didn't go in. No. I refused to get so past So you fully the, believe in ghosts? I don't fully believe in them, but I'm open to the idea, Carl. Right. You know what I mean? He's like, ghost, he's ghost I wouldn't curious. Be, I wouldn't be surprised. But do you think they can... <laughs> Harm you? That, that's the thing. If you're I running think it's away, possible. surely that means it yeah, must I be a threat. Yeah, I do think they. If if they exist, which I'm not 100 percent sure they do, but if they exist, I think it's possible for them to harm you. Right. But I think most of them just want to chat. <laughs> Adam, <laughs> just want to watch the footy, would you? you know what I mean, most of them have just got like a message they need to pass on before they can truly settle in the afterlife. Yeah. Have you ever had that sleep thing when it feel you wake up and it feels like one of them's on you? What's that called? Sleep paralysis. I've had sleep paralysis before. It's absolutely terrifying. It it's I've had ones where I thought, and you do sort of think you see somebody on top of you. It's not just a dream that you've woke up. No, I haven't had that. Well, I've, I, I haven't had that, is. but yeah. I have woke it's up. Sort of you're in that halfway well, I heard, house. I had sleep paralysis is that you've dreamt that you've woke up for a couple of seconds or minutes. Right. No, I've, 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 I've like had it where I'm definitely chest, awake and I cannot move off the bed. Oh, I've never had that. Thank and it's terrifying. Yeah, it's bad. It's you literally your whole body. Meant to blink lots. You wake up. And you feel like someone is sat on your chest. Yeah. Yeah, but you haven't paid them for the privilege. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Not like in a good way. pervy ghost round <laughs> you, <aren't> it? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking you don't have that one when you wake sat up. Sat on me face. Somebody <laughs> shitting on your chest. You don't have that. <laughs> Carl's got some rapey ghost round, isn't it? <laughs> Get on that. Carl, have you got us a gift there? I have bought you a gift for your new studio. I bought you a bottle of Singleton whiskey. Which I think oh. is a nice one. I'm not. A, I'm not a whiskey drinker. Oh well, I but am. It's now. a nice. I think whiskey's the best one to give. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. Absolutely. Have a look. It is for Adam because he loves it. Do you love it? Adam's the whiskey. Like whiskey. Man, Lemon hooch next time. Yeah. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> what are the apple sours? Oh, Carl, we've got you a gift. 
Huh? Have you, you got me a gift? gift? Yeah, so are you still going to do the advent calendar this year? I am oh. doing the advent calendar this well, year. We've got you a Have a Word porn style martini. Oh, oh wicked. Oh. Um, <laughs> can you pass that along? Check the um, I, I'm doing the advent calendar again this year, and I'm already, I've am already i already started a bit early. I sort of did a stock take of my booze cabinet. Can you pass that And I got a bit overexcited, and then started making cocktails the other day, and now I'm well into it again. So you... You did coffee a few years ago. I did coffee, and then last year, my wife bought 24 bottles of uh, booze, like 50 mils as well, not little 25 mils. That's a big boy. 50 like. mils, and then uh, every morning I had to open it, and whatever it was, I had to decide to make a cocktail with it. Oh, and nice. it, it was, honestly, it was wicked, but day, there was days when- What, like, what day was Jägerbomb? Jägerbomb was about day, I think it was about day four or five, if I remember. <laughs> Can I just ask Carl, are you going to have one? I will, but even though I don't like whiskey, I'll, I'll uh, have a go. Whiskey makes me feel like a little boy. I'm okay because we've got the gym. You do that thing it. with whiskey where I still have that thing where I'm like, I don't like it. Like yeah. a little eight-year-old smelling yeah. your Dan, dad's drink. can you pass drink. the bottle on to Carl, please? Um, In front of you. But no, with the advent calendar, what started is every day I'd just have like one one drink with the two shots of it in it. Ended up halfway through, fell apart, and I ended up sort of adding so much booze to it. There was a day when I made an That's Alabama that slammer. That's the joke. It's booze. <laughs> Thank you. It's uh, a porn star martini. What's in a porn star martini? Uh, so it's it's a vodka, a vodka based cocktail. Oh, that sounds fucking wicked. Nice and fruity, really fresh. It'll wake you up. But yeah, the thing I, I the advent calendar, I have to do it every morning. So like nine a.m., I'm nice. drinking booze in my kitchen. Yeah, it's funny. And to there watch. was days when I had like I had an Alabama Slammer, which is four shots of booze, and it was at nine a.m. And I literally like at ten a.m. I'm Taking my daughter to play group, shit face. You can't oh. be an alcoholic if you're filming it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, play group, play group with an Alabama slammer inside. It sounds fucking oh, great. Geez. Let's see. Oh, it does smell nice. My wife, but... Laura, loves uh, you and loves two vegan idiots. Oh, and that's is quite a, nice. Sorry. Is it? That's nice. She's a massive fan of the advent calendar. Oh, good. She if you don't amazing. follow Carl Donnelly on social media, and obviously we, we encourage our listeners and our viewers to follow all of our guests, but especially with the Christmas period coming up, Carl's Christmas calendar is the highlight of my December. It's very and this fun. is coming from a guy who is basically Buddy the Elf. I love Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I love Christmas as well. And that honestly, those videos. Oh, it's um Wash a dad. Yeah. Feel dad. Oh, that was like, coffee one. <laughs> <laughs> the coffee one. I loved the alcohol one last year, but the coffee one was my favourite. Well, the coffee one was the, the hard like it was hard because you can't how is it like you're doing just coffee every day? It's not at least booze is so it's a variety, isn't it? Every day, 24 just different coffees. They're not that different, innit? I might do just, the calendar thing myself this year, but not film it. I just want to have a drink every morning. Wanna, at yeah, 9 you just want to become a functional yeah. alcoholic. No excuse. <laughs> yeah. Doing an advent calendar. <laughs> Boy. Do you know what I will say? And this sounds degenerate, but if you're drinking in the morning, if you're not going to be drinking the rest of the day, it's, it's wicked. Because it just, <laughs> just sets, sets you it up off. for the day. And then you don't have to like do anything else, and it does. It just was there a any lovely, a lovely little glow. <laughs> this is dangerous, China. Yeah, I know, it's bad. Was there any day where you had that first one at nine a.m.? Obviously not on the play play group day, but where you were like, do you know what? I might just keep it going. Uh, yeah, there was, a couple, <laughs> there was a couple of days when like I made it and it was so nice. I went and gave Hannah a little taste. And it was so good. After we finished that one, we're like, shall we have another? <laughs> and next thing you know, yeah, it's sort of eleven a.m. We're both just on the cocktail, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get kitchen. a kebab and it's not open yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, and there were some days when I was going out in the evening. And I thought, well, I might just keep a steady pace up till then. So and what is the plan with the this year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? What's the plan with this year's? Same again. She just bought me 24 different boozes. But obviously now after last year was fun and I think she realised people enjoyed when it was a fucking disgusting drink like chartreuse that now I reckon this year she's going to really fuck what me up. chartreuse? Chartreuse is a green French liqueur made by like monks. It's one of them monk ones. Anything made by monks is always dangerous, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, book fast. Tonic <laughs> wine and yeah, shit like that. Fast. So I think, yeah, I think she's going to really hammer me with some gross... Well, if you want to try that one, that'll cleanse the palate. It's wonderful there. Uh, oh, I'll have it after me whiskey. I'll just get shit-faced during this. <laughs> <laughs> Carl's supporting me on the on the last night of my tour tonight. Lovely. And um, he was like, yeah, I'm having a bit of a detox before the uh, <laughs> the booze, the booze <laughs> advent calendar. <laughs> well, we fucked that right My up. willpower is so fucking low. Yeah, all fun people's willpower is low, though. I did it? a gig last night, and uh, me, uh, Michelle de Swart and Stephen K. Amos, and I was like, I'm not drinking. 
And then literally Amos was like, want a beer? I was like, yeah, I have one. And, like, <laughs> and, it was like, and that was it. It's just like drinking. I did that last night with Jack, our photographer. We, Me and Carl hosted our quiz last night. And for the first time at any quiz, we've, I was like, I'm just going to have a black cut and soda. I went to <laughs> shop in the interval and got myself orange LucasAid. Jack turned up and was like, you know what I'm having a pint? And I was like, I mean, I'll have a few with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is genuinely one of the only whiskeys I've ever drunk. That You've got your whiskey now. Drinks that I can what actually What whiskeys have you tried though? Well, I mean, I've had like, Lafrague was the other one I've tried. I was so like, that, that's that all is, right. Lafrague is a very, very, very acquired taste. I like right. Lafrague, but it's very peaty. That I can can't drink like a, now. you know, you know I mean, somebody's got like a teacher's, ugh. or like Jameson. Everyone used to drink Jameson growing up. So I grew up, you know, Irish. Jameson's, but. Jameson for me is uh, what I go for in a place that hasn't got a lot of whiskeys. Right, okay. So it's a very good, safe option. You okay, what are you saying? I'm having one. Uh, no, I'm having, <laughs> having a whiskey? Give it a try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, yeah, I'm, I'm not a whiskey drinker and I can actually drink that, even though I think I've got a fly yeah, in Yeah, Jameson's it. with an ice cube <laughs> is a very safe bet as like a, it, it's just a decent, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like what I'd call a speed rail whiskey. Like it might be a house whiskey. Yeah. In some places. <laughs> um, so you don't have this with like Coke? I like a breakfast whiskey myself. No, you wouldn't have this with Coke, no. Um, like do you brand, don't have this with you ice? Drink, can you drink brandy? Brandy's another one of them ones I feel like. Brandy makes I'm me attack ready for it. I'm not the right age for it yet. I need to hit my unless, 60s. Unless you've got a brandy sours going on and they are fucking exceptional. Or you're at a funeral. There's certain drinks I can only drink in certain contexts. Brandy's a funeral uh, drink. There's an XO behind you there, Carl. You What's that? A Henny XO there. Is that a good one? Oh, yeah. Right. At a funeral, I feel I, like getting wankered. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally had one sip. Oh my god! <laughs> at, um, <laughs> at a funeral, I exclusively drink porn star martinis. A funeral, just to rub it in. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah. What? Why is why is where? that? Uh, it was just the first funeral I ever went to was where I had my first porn star martini, and I just associated <laughs> it was his. It death. was his nan's funeral, and she was a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just felt the, right. In not in the church. What? You're not drinking it in the church. No, at the wake. Cool. Yeah, so you're not at my nan's funeral, we had a porn star martini station. Smirnoff <laughs> provided it. It's lovely of them, isn't it? <laughs> is. You know you're an alcoholic when Smirnoff has sponsored, sponsored the, the week. <laughs> <laughs> well, this last tour show is going to be fun, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> just ruined it. Imagine, it'd be so funny if you Dan, totally ruined Dan, it. Dan, make it all go. go on, Carl. Why not? You are not the person. If he did that, you'd be like, yeah, Adam really puts up the stats where he can bully you into drinking. I'm not trying to bully you. I'm you drink you. twice a year. What are you getting so fucking head up for? I just don't want it. Because he's sick of being told what to do. What's my a fucking pussy ass cunt like you. Whew. That that whiskey's gone straight to his head. <laughs> he's getting aggressive. A bit defensive, Two wasn't sips. It? I've not even... Fuck off, Carl. Two non-vegan maggots. It's very nice. It's very smooth. <laughs> Calling me a pussy <laughs> ass what? Come on. What's smooth about that? Put your sneak in it, Dan. <laughs> Dan, put it in your sneak. It's nice. It's really nice. Dad! What's wrong with you? God. <laughs> I'll get you an alcohol pop in the break, eh? Oh, can you? Matthew, Dan, what drink would you prefer to drink? What? Right now. Oh, I'd like to be drinking sneak, not whiskey. Sneak. Use code CALT word 10. Word 10. Word 10. Word 10. Word 10. Is... Dead good. These, are, these are the new flavours. They're dead nice. What is it? Um, energy it's drink. a energy drink that isn't like a fizzy can one. They do do those, but you mix like it in these. a powder with water. Right. What's in it? Is it taurine? Oh, yeah. Is oh, it? let me. It's actually the only legal energy drink that actually has crack cocaine in it. Yeah. <laughs> acid, <laughs> citric acid. It's got uh, L tyrosine, L taurine. Bit of smack. What does it do? Maltodextrin. To I mean, I was raised on maltodextrin, yeah. so. What's it do to you? Does it come out that color? Um, it's <laughs> very fun. It's actually, this is Something an acronym. Do you ever do a Barocca and then you get piss in a pub and... Yeah, it's and bright orange. people, it looks like it's looking... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A luminous piss. Yeah. This is actually an acronym. There we go. It's not just... So it's smack. Yes. Neurofen. Nice. Ecstasy. Yep. Acid. Crack cocaine. Cat. With a cat, crack cocaine with a cat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dyslexic like cocaine. By that point, you just start spelling wrong anyway. It's because they're a hip... <laughs> it's because they're a hip company. Yes. So they smell oh. it with they smell it with it as well. Yeah. Oh, I tell you what, this uh this is so smooth. <laughs> Called me a pussy ass bitch. He did. But you agreed with him. It's true. No, I'm just gonna save that for later. Will, do you like it? Yes, he does, yeah. 
And Carl likes it. And he's I, I, yeah, I'm whiskey. very surprised. Yeah, how but smooth it is. he's he's so a, I did an advert for it. On he's camera. a he's a high function oh, alcoholic. So are you? I'm not. You. Whoa, whoa, what, what, whoa! What, 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 what I miss? Excuse me. What, I am what a social. You're both butterfly. You are two of the most uh, talented, gregarious alcoholics I know. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm a social. Butterfly. I mean, you're not alcoholics, but you're definitely, you know. What constitutes alcohol? I just like a drop <laughs> and lose sometimes. If, the, uh, if alcoholism is the Premier League, you're one of them really good championship teams. Is that fair to say? <laughs> yeah. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's yeah. me <laughs> I deserve to be an alcoholic, but I haven't earned the title yet. <laughs> Um, <laughs> can you drink? Can you drink pre gigs? Yeah, yes. That's the that's the problem. If you're if you are somebody who can, then it's a dangerous life. Have a boozy pops tonight. Um, I no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that <laughs> you know some I know some so many comedians that are like I can't drink before I go on stage, no, and that I is a, that must can't. be a very healthy way of doing comedy. But I know um, I can drink and go on stage. Have you ever drank so, so much again, you fucked I, the gig up? Um, I've done that twice in twelve years. I reckon I have. Mm. Yeah, Edinburgh in Edinburgh, not my show in Edinburgh, but late shows. I've definitely tanked. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they count. You know. No, I no. Don't Edinburgh's either. different, and also it's you don't get pr like until it's like five in the morning and everything's done. The adrenaline and constantly running around Edinburgh keeps you at a certain level where you can still gig. Yeah. I remember. I don't know whether I've mentioned this story before on Haveway, but I imagine at some point it's came up. I um, went out to watch the Merseyside Derby, Liverpool play Everton. And it was a three-all draw. Yeah. And that was a 12.30 kickoff. And I had hot water that night. And I turned up when it was at the Crown Hotel pub. And I was twatted. Oh, we watched that in a big house, didn't we? Yeah. That's why. And Binty went, you're too drunk, you need to go home. Oh. And I went, no. <laughs> I'll be fine. And he went, okay, I'll make you the deal. I'll let you go on if you can do one of your bits to me now. <laughs> That's such a Binty thing. Like, and I went... On. You know the one about the girls on the bus? And that was it. <laughs> Did you do the gig? <laughs> no, he sent me home. <laughs> 25 minutes later, he's having Chinese food. No, I went straight back out. Oh, right, fair enough. <laughs> I did one of my first ever weekends at the Comedy Store in London. I uh, It was um, Mike Wilmot's birthday. People don't know Mike Wilmot. He's one of the, one of the best, isn't he? Right? Legend. But an absolute He'd be great on this story he's got. And uh, it was his birthday, so Rich Hall showed up uh, with a bottle of like bourbon or something. Knobs Creek, I remember actually. Mm -hmm. And then in between the early and late show, this is when the late show was at midnight. We just sat, four of us sat in a circle in the dressing room and just did just shot, just did the whole bottle with shots. And like I just didn't realise how shit faced I was getting because we're sitting down having a bit of a laugh. And then the late show starts, <laughs> and I'm on first. And the first time I stood up after drinking <laughs> was to go on stage. And the moment I stood up, I was like, oh, I'm about to lose all bookings for the company store. Because I, I was shit -faced. You did a bottle between how many? Well, it was four of us, but we were also drinking other That's drinks as well. Shots. Who's the, yeah, who was the four? Shots. Do you remember? Um, I don't. Rich Hall, Mike Wilmot, me, and I, you know, I can't I'll remember. I'll tell you what, if you were going to pick four, three other people to just sit round and booze oh, with in a dressing room. <laughs> Carl Donnelly, Rich Hall. <laughs> oh my God, what a fucking lineup! Have you seen Mike Wilmot now since he lost all his weight? Yeah. It sounds like a weird sort of... But I, I did Melbourne Comedy Festival. I didn't know he'd lost all the weight. And I went into a gym in the hotel and I just saw this skinny old man on the treadmill and he gave me a look of recognition. I was like, that creepy old fuck. And then, um, and how you doing there, Carl? Yeah, it was like, hey, Carl. Meh, 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 meh. And he's, but yeah, he's, he's like a different person. It's weird when you see, you don't see the transformation. You just see the sort of, you literally just in your head, you just see the before and after photo, isn't it? He's it's also creepy. one of those people, and I hope he forgives me for saying this. Not that he's going to watch this at all. Um, do you know when someone who was quite fat loses weight, but you can tell they used to be fat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do know. Actually, yeah, because yeah. you look like yeah. a human yeah. ball. Yeah. Look at me, you're like you were fat at some point. He's still got that right. about him, even though he's heads. dead skinny. Yeah. You've all got saggy heads, haven't they? Yeah, there's a testicle sack quality to them, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Where they look like if they held a bit of them out <laughs> with a good breeze, they'd be off down the fucking street. <laughs> can I ask you a question? And if this isn't, uh, if this is either incorrect or not common knowledge, you can just say no, and we'll cut Go it out. It. Are you moving to Australia? No, uh, no, I think at some point in the future I might because yeah. I'm married to an Australian and I like it over there, but not it's not there's nothing planned. Oh, I got told you were moving uh, early next year. Really? Yeah. Who told you that? Uh, My wife. <laughs> My wife's been <laughs> it was um, Hannah. Yeah. yeah. She was putting the feelers up. It was a full moon festival. Um, I don't know. No, not at all. There's no time frame at all planned. But I think we've talked about it because it's wicked over there. Have you been? 
No, I would like it's, to go there. It's obviously like comedy over there is very different. They haven't got the scene that we have. There's not like the circuit yeah. that you can just, you know, over there it's almost impossible just to be a jobbing comedian. Yeah, they um, all end up radio hosts and stuff. Don't yeah, they? and the radio over there gets paid fucking mad. Quarter like, it's not like here where. Stat. I remember. Do you remember Tom Deacon uh, yeah. used to do Radio One's like chart show or something, and he was basically just getting like two hundred quid a gig, and yeah. like it's not. Whereas in Australia, you get hundreds of thousands of dollars a year for a radio show. But I would not. I'd want to do that. But like, yeah, I think the quality of life there, you could, like, you can live for slightly less in a nicer. You talking Melbourne? I'd, I'd take a massive pay cut in my life. To live next to a beach in the sunshine. Yeah, I'll give you that. I think most people would, wouldn't they? Maybe. Do you know what I mean? I it's don't like, think I would actually. What you want? You're talking money and rain. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, you'd have to move. Yeah. You'd have yeah. to move Liverpool to Australia. Right. Yes. I suppose, but it's different. I suppose you guys have got a very. You're very tied to your home and city. Yeah, you know, yeah, you've, yeah. You've More sort so. Of got that culture. Liverpool's the only city in it in the UK that's got that. Maybe Glasgow or something like that. Sort of real cultural pride. You know, because as a Londoner, you don't get that. London is just full of mercenaries. We don't give a fuck about each other. It's because you know it's I mean? a We don't even like each other if you're cunts. from yeah, yeah. three miles away. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I mean, we don't, there's no London sense of community. Like, if you're, a, I'm a Southwest Londoner, and if somebody's from like North East, I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you're not part of my what town. What did you say London was then? Wow. What did you, what did you discuss? It's a festival and she's all full of cunts. <laughs> well, I'm going for a week. But that's, it's our <laughs> fester and shit all for the cunts. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But I love the anonymity of London. There is, it's that weird thing where I think, yeah, there's no sense of like, we're Londoners. We just happen to just all live together. Whereas, you know, up here, I do. it's nice that you've got a sense of community. But I actually do like London. I just really, really enjoy shitting on it at the same time. I think when every time I, I'm in London, I find that being from London or being a Londoner is not the pr- predominant thing. There's people from all over the world, races, religions, and then the class system or even your socio-politics takes over. So if you're cool or if you're like vegan or if you're incredibly wealthy and you live in like Mayfair or whatever, Mm. London isn't ever a unifying factor. Whereas... Also, I think if you're a Geordie, you might list that first. Yeah, you might yeah, list yeah, Scouser yeah. first before you get into the sort of... Said Geordie. Yeah. <laughs> and also, say, everyone in London, most of the people in London are yeah. second generation something else on the whole. So that, that slightly I trumps. did Vauxhall Comedy Club for the uh, for my tour and I was staying just at the start of Lambeth, yeah, is yeah. it? And there's a Portuguese quarter. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's fucking Portuguese. Like five <laughs> Portuguese shops, five Portuguese. Yeah, oh, how many foot and nanos have you got, man? I bet there's foot and loads. But there's a, so there's a 42nd Korean generation Johnny me, like. <laughs> <laughs> second and still got the accent. <laughs> Plus, doing generation of generation. I actually live in fucking Twickenham. I live in Chiswick. Nice. I love that pub with the comedy in. Oh. <laughs> The right. accent's waning there. It's actually yeah, moving yeah. round the country. 42 <laughs> generations and it's now in Thirsk. Well, I haven't been back for about nine years. Uh, you managed to make Geordie sound deaf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing, doing a deaf Geordie. Geordie. I'm, I'm doing, doing a deaf Geordie. He just doesn't like to talk about his disability. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it up, Carl. <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, it's... But uh, Melbourne. Is Melbourne the... the uh, oh, hello. Get the train, to, train to London. Get the train to London. Yeah. Getting a jet um, train. Yeah, Melbourne's like, <laughs> Melbourne's, they're like, yeah, I'll have another one. <laughs> um, I, uh, yeah, Can Melbourne's we start one first? wicked, man. Melbourne's like sort of, it's got the cultural, you know, Is that where you mean to move? Is that where you... I think we would move there, yeah. I, because I, it's not, you know, I think it's, it's, it's got that sort of London-y cultural, like it's like a UK city in terms of it's full of culture and stuff, but it's also hot and it's got a beach. You know what I mean? Sydney's a little bit too sporty for me. Everyone's so fit. I think I'd fit in there, yeah. <laughs> I f- honestly, you go to Sydney and you feel like such a fat wanker everywhere you go. I just, yeah, I don't, Sydney doesn't do it. You for meant me. you as the collective, not. No, no, no I felt I, 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 I was including everyone in this room in that, by the way. Every single one yes. of you would feel the same. As long as they've got a table tennis seat, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, but it's outdoor. What? You'd look good playing outdoor table tennis, yeah. topless. The thing is, genuinely with table tennis, people don't actually believe I'm good at it because they look at me frame and they go, oh, he's a big fat melting mess. Oh, no one says that. Oh. They think it. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, no, 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 you're right. And, then, and then they're like, oh my God, what the f- how could he possibly move from side to side that quick? Table tennis. You're actually good at table tennis. Oh, he's annoyingly good. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They call me the speedy crab. Table tennis is like, cool. I always think it's like Paul. 
pool, snooker, table tennis, they're all in that category of like, yeah. you know, sort of, it's it's a sign of a misspent youth, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I had a table tennis table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. I'm He's really good, good at pool. As well. You were really good at pool. Because yeah. I lived in a pub for a, when I was really young and I just got well, annoyingly good. And I used to beat adults in the pub and they fucking hated it. Getting beaten by a 10 year old when you're a 40 year old pissed idiot. <laughs> it's the worst day of your life. Isn't 10 it? year old fucking pool shark. <laughs> yeah. So like, but it's always a sign of your, of a, Bad, like a what's your rough pub, childhood. What's your pub spot? What, if I had to pick, I do like pool. I'm not particularly good at any. I fucking love darts. darts. I love, Are you good at darts? Um, no, I don't think I'm any, I'm honestly not that good at Have you ever thrown a 180? I have. I've thrown one in my life and it is genuinely, I'd, I put it in my top five life moments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so oh, it exciting. does feel good. Like, it does feel was good. Was it competitive? You were playing a game? You didn't no, know. no, I was in my bedroom. But even then I was like, this is never getting, this is in the top. It goes straight in the top. <laughs> Did anyone table. witness it? Uh, no one witnessed it. And this <laughs> yeah, was like, same as it. Same this was before me. smartphones. I, I, had a, I, had a, I had a dartboard in my bedroom when I was from the age of about 15 to 18. And I just got well good. And then I just remember that one day, just uh, 180. I, I don't think it counts dart. if no one witnessed it. But no one witnessed mine either. I used to throw no. to 180s by me now. No, I had a nine dart in my uh, nan's house when I was a kid. But uh, no one was there to see it. Uh, of course. Oh. I am. Um, yeah, so it I know it's better when people see it, but I remember. I once. used to drink, or my family used to drink at St. Margaret Mary's Parish Club, which is like the, the church owned bar. Yes. You know, like behind the church. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's where, like, where we've had every family event. My mum and dad got married in that church. Like, my cousin had their 18th there. Every christening was there. Yeah. And my dad was in their darts team for years. And also, yeah. like, I was allowed to drink in there from the age of like 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Allegedly. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I've alleged it against myself. <laughs> so like on a, on a Sunday, me and my best mate, another lad called Adam, we would go and play snooker, not mm. pearl snooker, all day while in between like the the footy being on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on a Friday night, sometimes I go and play darts with my dad when he was in the team. And I stuff. used to work in one of them. I worked in an Irish social club that was attached to Saint Boniface so, a Church in Two in Broadway. From the age of thirteen, I worked illegally. I used to like pick up glasses when in the pub. Which you can't, I think there used to be a law you couldn't work after 10 pm if you were under 16 or yeah, something. Yeah. And I was like 13 working in a bar. And yeah, I just used to play snooker. And then when, and then when I got to the sort of 17, I started working behind the bar. I still remember when Magnus, you remember Magnus Cider? I remember when it first like landed on these shores <laughs> and it was only in the small bottles. And I remember drinking it one night after work and it was like, it was honestly like a revelation. I've never had anything that tasty and I felt fine the next day. So I, sh I told all my mates, there's a new drink in town. <laughs> I was like, honestly, I said, you won't believe it, it's cider. No one drinks cider. Strongbow is disgusting. I went, and honestly, you don't get a hangover. So all my mates came and we drank a, like an obscene amount. I think we drank like 20 bottles each. And the next day we were all fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, I just had a lucky break on the first time I did it. And, oh man, I remember the hangover the next, my mate had to go to work the next morning and he got so shit faced drinking Magnus and he went home and he watched a knockoff DVD of Gladiator that was in Spanish. <laughs> and then he went straight to work, just shit faced. And I remember like being so sorry for him. But, um, but what was your, what was a hell of a way to learn a language that? Yeah. <laughs> Lime Wire was just the original Rosetta Stone one. <laughs> just watch a film you've already seen in a different language. <laughs> I remember two, I think it was called Two Dogs. Oh yeah. Titan. <laughs> no, Titan, yeah. no, it wasn't Two Dogs Fighting. <laughs> I know that. I, I actually know that. Do you yeah. know that? No. So there's an area of Liverpool called Heighton and it's affectionately known locally as Two Dogs. Right. Because it's Heighton, Heighton, Two Dogs Fighting. One's a black and one's a white. <laughs> yeah. Racist rhymes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's not same. racist if it's about oh, dogs, is it? Those. They're both staffs. It's the same race of dog. Not sure they're talking about. Okey dog. dog. Um, two Dogs was just basically the one that what would you what came before hooch yes. lemon hooch predecessor it was it was i, I remember, remember dr drinking that and going there's a way yeah there's a way to get drunk you don't have to drink fucking heineken or whatever yeah. shy you could get That's your advice i remember when that came along that was a similar sort of <laughs> what revolution a wasn't it in that it was okay. but then it obviously very quickly you learned it gave you like stomach ulcers <laughs> <laughs> but, um, i remember um, turbo it, shandies are still good though um which one? Oh yeah turbo shandies but have you ever heard of a i don't think you would have because i think i'm pretty sure i know people that just made it up they made they made up a cocktail called a Joe Swale, and it, do you remember Joe Swale? He was a deaf snooker player. Yeah, yeah. And it was I had a poster um, of him on my wall. I think it was half oh, a lager. It was half a lager. 
Was he Jordan? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, Jordan. Um, when um, you're swimming, like, when you're falling over, one foot seven meter. <laughs> but it was half a lager. Get a load of this. Half a lager. Bottle of uh, smell of ice upside down in it. Like that, right? Bottle of um, Wicked, Blue Wicked upside down like How that. this glass? Bottle of orange, <laughs> orange. <laughs> <laughs> but no, because you know, you, you could do the thing where you, so you put, t- put the top oh, of the yeah, bottles in top, and yeah, it pours possibly. through. So it was a orange reef, Smyrna Vice, <laughs> oh my Blue God. Wicked, half a lager. And you drink that What's and it? it makes you deaf. <laughs> <laughs> In hell, mate. I'm diabetic. <laughs> Just to get the whole of the 90s into one drink. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. One thing we used to do when we first started going out was every now and then. I don't know whether you did this very often. You definitely did it once or twice. Slaters. Slaters, yeah. Yeah, I did it loads. But I used to do it quite a bit with Paul Blair and Tony Carroll. We'd start this as a way to have a cheap night out. So there's a bar on Slater Street. It's still there now. Yeah. Called Slater's Bar in Liverpool. And they used to do, they would give you a quadruple vodka. Oh. And a bottle of Blue Wicked. But legally, it was two. It was yeah, they two yeah, glasses. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so they give you they give you a double in a pint glass, another double in like a a small <laughs> glass, and a bottle of yeah. Blue Wicked for a fiver. Oh. So you'd have essentially five shots of vodka because there's one in the Wicked uh, for a fiver, and you just have two of them, and you wouldn't have to drink for the rest of the night. Yeah, you'd start your night out with just like, what a tenner, and then you were done. That's oh, when you were so students. Good. Yeah, um, you're doing well, Dan. No, I How's need someone going? to take this off me before I forget that I hate it and try and drink it <laughs> for the fourth time. Downey. Salute. Downey. Yeah, you said well, you, you, no, no, you no, respect no, no. it if you said it. Can, you, can someone... Jack? It does repeat on your bad whiskey, <laughs> actually. That's what you get. Get a fucking professional photographer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, what a team player. All the pictures are skewed. No. Can we have a break? Because my throat hurts. <laughs> Don't you need for some, some, some water? need some whiskey. <laughs> All right, guys, now it's time to talk to you about one of our sponsors, NordVPN. NordVPN is the world's best VPN service, in my opinion. Dan, do you know what a VPN is? Yeah, of course I know what a VPN is. Well, I don't. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm gone. My mouth wasn't moving. It's Peter, the have a word snake. Hello. Hey, Peter, you don't know what a VPN is. Peter, no. listen to me. Peter, listen, look at me, lad. Right yeah. here, right here, yeah, right here. A VPN is basically a way for you to improve your internet security, and also you can change the location of where you are based. So let's say you're in the UK, but there's a film on like the American Netflix. You can set your location to America, log into Netflix, and it'll think you're in America. What? Isn't that amazing? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> for exa- like some Premier League football matches aren't broadcast over here, but they are broadcast in other countries. You can watch them. Just find out what country it's been shown in and set your location to that country. Thank you for educating me, Adam. Do you know what? What about if I want to watch foreign porn? <laughs> if you wanted to watch foreign porn, I mean, I don't know why that would be blocked in any country, but yeah, you can set your location to anywhere and access any website. If you go to nordvpn.com slash have a word and use the code have a word, you'll get a huge discount and four months free. Isn't that right, Dan? Yeah, nordvpn.com slash have a word. Use code ha- Peter. Use code word have a word. 10, have a word. <laughs> no, no, Peter. No, Peter. Concentrate. Use code have a word. Have a word. You huge discount and snake. four months free. Fuck off. <laughs> Nord. <laughs> um, now let me tell you, this is Ooh, a better, this huh? is a great vintage. Uh, it's a Malibu Pina Colada in a can. Oh. Mm, what, right, now, what year is it? Oh, what year is it? Two thousand and twenty-two. <laughs> a good year. I, I don't this? know if you know that's a good year for Should pina colada. Porn star martini. You can that... drink the porn star martini. Does anyone have anything to open um, it with? Or is it a twisty? Oh, oh right, don't sorry. do your tea. Oh, here you are. Talking about English. misspent you. Adam does it with his cock. Huh? He does it with his cock. Oh. <laughs> Just put your little foreskin over the top. Oh, of no, it. he does it with his arsehole. <laughs> uh, it. Can, you know when you use the word smooth around alcohol? Yeah. Can, you, can this be part of the consideration? Always oh, done it. Oh, lovely. Smooth. Malibu is smooth. Oh. See, this is, an, is this a flat a flat drink. I mean, Just opening that reminds me of me now. Is it, is it in date? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Has it gone bitter? It smells like umbongo. Oh, it'll umbongo, taste umbongo. Did you get in the Congo? Just getting flashbacks to me now's funeral. Oh, that's lovely, that is. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 
Um, yes, yes, very nice. Do, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, shall we all stop getting bladdered and start doing... Oh, shut up, Carl. I don't have to do my head and sometimes, you, you know. Sorry for making this work. Uh, oh. All fun and games until Carl starts oh. being a prick. Here's a contentious <laughs> one that we've not done for a while, but I'm taking a chance. Would you rather... Speed round. Uh, would you rather... Jamie Rogers says, if Dan somehow had his dick bit by a venomous snake and Adam Finn, Carl and Steve have all... No. And Carl Donnelly have all seen it happen. He actually wrote that. I don't know how he knew. Would you rather help Dan out and get down on them big boy knees and suck that venom out of Dan's dick with pus and blood coming from the bite as well as it being Dan's dick? Or I'm gonna, I'm gonna would be you? With you. Yeah, I haven't listened to anything because I was pouring my drink. All right, <laughs> Dan's been bitten by a snake on the dick. <laughs> I've stuck my dick in the uh, snake tank. Classic yeah. me. <laughs> Love a reptile. Dan's been bitten on the dick by a snake. Would I've, you suck it out? It's gone. I'm dying. Do I'm you, dying. Uh, dick first. Has it been confirmed? It's a poisonous snake. What? It's a cobra. It's a I'm cobra. Lit- I'm okay. literally doing this. <laughs> I'm right. going towards the tree. Yeah, but is that because you're about to come or because you've been poisoned? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Snakes right. sucking them off. <laughs> oh, what a kink that would be. New kink unlocked. <laughs> Cobra dick. Uh, or would you not help him out and Dan loses all feeling from his dick and can never use it again oh. after you got him his treatment? Keep up the good work, you bunch of fucking legends. Oh, well, Jamie Rogers, we know what they're going to say. Well, we're pulling privilege instantly. No, no, I won't. I'm going to answer you honestly, right? I would suck your dick to keep you alive. <laughs> I would not suck your dick to keep your ability to fuck. Really? That is, I'd, I'd suck. I'd suck anyone in this room's dick <laughs> just to help them out <laughs> with anything. Hey, uh, with anything, guys. Blue balls. <laughs> I've had a couple a of whiskeys. Carl. Carl, if anyone's not got even, any problems, I'll suck your dick. Not right? even got the fucking sneak out, lad. Um, <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what All snake? Right, cool. Dan gets on though. the dick, Carl starts sucking Finn up. <laughs> oh, is this the wrong one? <laughs> uh, I'll get to you in a minute, Mr. Snakebite. <laughs> Matthew we've King all, says... We've all got problems, I'm just sucking some dicks. <laughs> That's basically... I would say, yeah. I'd one love. I would, one so love. I would say, yeah, if it was... Fuck you. Because that is going to be a debilitating problem for you forever. <gasps> Oh, um. guys! <laughs> it's Peter! Oh, no. <laughs> it's Peter the Have a Word Snake! Come on in, get it out. What's happening? Dan, I would love to bite you on the dick. Okay, now. I like Peter. You get your dick out? Yeah, for Peter. All oh, right, sorry. Um, Matthew King says, Wag Wag Lids, we all know the worst thing in the world is to be tired and have to put bedding I'm on. I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> We all know the worst thing in the world is to be tired and have to put bedding on. Would you rather every night go to bed and have to put a full set oh. of fresh bedding on or every night sleep in a bed with no bedding at all? That one. That one. Say that again. <laughs> it's going to be a whiskey fucking whiskey causes you to go deaf? <laughs> ADHD plus fucking whiskey. What? You're bladdered. I mean, not bladdered. You're tired. And every night you either have to change the bedding every night or sleep with no bedding. No, you can't sleep in no bed. No, it's gross. It, oh, it makes you feel like a fucking Smackers. war, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like a, a prisoner of war. <laughs> <laughs> a war, <laughs> a war, fucking. I <laughs> hate feeling like a war, fucking. Um, do you know? Do you know? Last bad. week, so last week, me and Carl attended the birthday party of a friend of ours, and long story short, someone there was being a bit of a gobshite, and it put a sour ending on the event. Yeah? Yeah. Neither That's, of us, by the way. Neither of us. No, we, we would behave. But it, it sort of, you know, it, <laughs> it, it put a pooer on the party, right? That old phrase. Don't put a pooer on the party. When I got home, had a few more drinks in the flat, and then realised that the last thing I did before I left for that party was strip the bed oh, and not God. put the stuff back on. You and absolutely rookie. twatted at about half three in the morning, I did me bed. To the best of my ability. <laughs> I would rather make a little nest out of uh, washing, cl- washed clothes. Washing? Oh. Yeah, have you ever done that? When you've, when you've got back and you, you've just not finished tidying your bedroom, there's no bed sheets on. I just like, I, I can, if I'm tired enough, pissed, I will just get in and make a little fucking nest of anything <laughs> around me. Like, fuck that. Like a I dying never, cat. Yeah. Just wrap yourself <laughs> Never put bedding on pissed. Well, I did. I wouldn't come out of it. <laughs> Adam's bladdered. Uh, Matthew Bentley says, I haven't had enough to have had three large whiskeys. <laughs> Nan switch all over again. Matthew Bentley says, would you rather be the first to die out of your mates 
Oh no, we can't do any more death, Matthew. We're not doing any more death. We've it's been very philosophical today, but no, no more, more death. death. No more. Dylan says, "Would you rather have eyes that film anything or ears that rec can record anything?" I don't want either of them. I've seen Black Mirror. Yeah. Does, I, the the man's greatest superpower is the ability to forget. <laughs> like a, what has that whiskey done to you, mate? If that's your line, you need to drink more whiskey. <laughs> if you're announcing a tour, you should be pissed all spring writing new material. You've seen Adam Rose's new show. It's fucking beautiful. <laughs> and also, what's a fly? <laughs> Except you wouldn't know where you're fucking flying to, you forgot. That's the best thing alcohol does to us, though. Isn't it? What? Makes like, you forget. It makes you forget your behaviour while you're drunk. Yeah. Like, it's not alcohol's fault that other people remind you what you did. Alcohol's yes. done its job. It's deleted the memory yeah, yeah, of the yeah, twattery, yeah, yeah. hasn't well, it? It's the reason It's your mates who are the cunts fault. going, oh, you pissed on me, sister. That's not alcohol's fault. <laughs> Sick of her, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think Adam's drinking diesel. Jeez. <laughs> also, it makes you last longer. That's a fucking super bar for me. Well, out of what booze? Oh, when you, when you have drunken sex, I'm but like. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, but then it goes. Then you go over a point, and it becomes no. tedious. Can I yeah. admit something? That happened to me once. Can the I woman wouldn't leave me alone, and I got a friction bear on me cock. Oh, what a builder bear! What? I've been jizzing a bit too quick recently. Really? Enjoying sex with my wife of eight years. No, been together eight years. I don't know if she's getting sexier or if I'm getting more appreciative, but my penis is like, Wee! and it's not, I'm having to like chill myself out. You should I went win you. I went through a premature ejaculation phase. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 14 down to St. Margie Mary's fucking social. Now, one of my ex-girlfriends, there was literally just a one month period, and I literally mean it lasted about a month, where like, f for the life of me, I couldn't make her finish before me. Right. It would last four or five minutes and then I'd be done. And it was a fucking nightmare. And then she was like, she was like, I, I'd have to finish it off with me mouth or fingers. Do you know what I mean? And then after that, it just went away and I was back to being a stallion. That was a lucky full moon, that one, <laughs> wasn't it? I've, I've always had the opposite. I genuinely have always had a problem with uh, being able to last too long. No, sorry, no. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> no I've, I've, I've always like, I've always been, uh, I've just never, ever had that thing of jizzing too early. It's just, I don't know what it is. It's literally just a month. Just I don't know what happened. sensitivity of my... Well, you, and I, I, have, I do have foreskin. I just want to clarify. Hey, P.S. If, <laughs> if, if, <laughs> if, if you're going to choose one, if you had to be lumped with one, yeah. jizzing too quick or I, not I'd, being able I'd to jizz... I'd take what I've got. But I've had so I many occasions take... where I've had to just finish. We've just finished and I've just never come. Right. Just so like, was, a, yeah. like, a, happened. like a draw. Yeah. Yeah, it just ends. Draw. Yeah, I'll yeah, just take a... Five-day test oh. match that ends with no result. A home draw. So the worst type of draw. I'd say this about uh, being a uh, being quick to the jizz. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you have to... There's t like, there's times when it's not good. But I always get mine. Yeah. Now, I'm not being selfish. I'm not... I'm, I'm, I try not to be a selfish lover. But I have never had a score draw. If oh. anything, I've had one of them where England have been bowled out for 37. No. It's ended on day two. Isn't a score draw when Mate, you both come? Every time I... Every time, <laughs> a score draw. Every time I fuck, it's like 2020. Yeah, and nil-nil right. is when no one comes. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes. Can't be like three-nil, because then you are selfish. I come I, quicker while I slow fuck. <laughs> I'm not even messing. It's the romance. Do you know what I mean? I think it is. I think I like it more if I, if, oh, if it feels like I'm making well, love. Luther Vandross. <laughs> and if you well, can like, sing one of his songs, I'm impressed. I think it's I because can't. you feel you feel every millimetre of it. Do you know what I mean? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. All, all, all sixty-two thousand. He's blood. Like if I if I think I'm close to coming, I get my ass going oh. like a bee's wing, and it makes me last a bit longer. No. And also, she's no. having a fucking I wonderful mean, time. Come the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. No, you are a no, <laughs> no, it is. It, it absolutely is. is. If I slow, if I'm like he's getting ooh. into the fucking, you know, the ooh. mood, and he feeling sexy. Ooh, if he, ooh. if he, <laughs> <laughs> he makes that noise. Oh. He's reversing the transit. It, it, oh. And you don't pop. Ooh, don't <laughs> ooh. Oh. can I just say, if I'm slowly like the worst you know, like game of sort of like mixing the batter, and oh, you like do it like a three sixty with your hips and stuff, and you're like, how small is your dick you using millimeters, mate? <laughs> What? How small is your dick you're using millimetres? Every millimetre counts, Carl, that's the point. <laughs> Use his feet. Um, <laughs> no, you do not last longer by pounding harder. I do. You do. I do. 
Absolutely, you do. See? What? You take the fucking romance out of it and you make it just an animal you know fuck. I think me and you are very similar in the bedroom. What, I think we're on. fuck buddies. Yeah. Not in that <laughs> way. <laughs> Take the whiskey off Adam, I'm getting shagged there. I'm doing it. Well, these are two pounding each other in the lobby. No. No, he's no. right, because you're getting all fucking sexy in it, and you're feeling good about yourself. When you're just banging it, you just Also, like, sex is better when it means more. No, exactly. no, you just pull out and say the Lord's Prayer. <laughs> is that your method? Oh, every time. <laughs> I've had... Oh. Do you want to say it out loud? What? Do you want to say it out loud? Oh, yeah, yeah. Or it's You pull turn, out, it say the half hour, then go back in. Turns lower on. That's why she doesn't go to church. I'm telling you right now. Like the, the worst thing for me if I'm trying to last long is to, to make it passionate and slow. Cool. P- break eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> what's your, are those, so that's your method, speed up. Speed up. Mm. So, do you know genuinely what it is? Genuinely, I, th- I figured this out. This wasn't even that long ago. Right. If- <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> shut up, no, shut Bye. up. <laughs> I need to keep, uh. to, to last longer, I need to keep me bellend away from the labia. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> bell end and labia, right? Colloquialism in a medical term. So, oh, pick two. God. So, imagine you're really deep in, like you couldn't get any deeper, right? <laughs> I don't come out all the way. Keep the I only come the out. House. I only come out like half a dick. Yeah, because that's where all the sensitivity is on the Yeah. Band. So it just keeps like the bottom of my shaft going in and out, yeah. but the rest of it just stays that's, right that's near the fucking. Cl- Classic the move. back wall. Do you know what I mean? Classic move. Right. Also, ladies, if we you pull need out, like a little sort of. Um, do you know, do you know what I mean, though? No. Yeah, that's you, a good move, isn't it? Because yeah. you, you like you don't feel anything on the tip of your dick. But I feel it. something. Yeah, the imagery. But ladies, if we pull out and go down there, it's because we want to slow down. It's not always because we're being nice. That doesn't really do for me, though. I've tried that before, but <laughs> genuinely, eating pussy turns me on. <laughs> oh. So if I do that, the second I go back in, I'm done. Who art in heaven? Go and have another drink. Hello, <laughs> <there. laughs> Thy kingdom come. Oh, God. Uh, I will be done. Keep the whiskey for, uh, gifts cold. Oh, oh, your bell end and your labia. <laughs> keep those two apart. <laughs> like two the, chevrons. Keep the bell end. <laughs> 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 Two chevrons apart because it's wet. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking dangerous. What are, what are you doing? Back it off, lads. <laughs> Breaking distance. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Pulling onto the hard shoulder. Give me five minutes. Be cock on the shoulder. You two dominate, padre. <laughs> <laughs> or on top of Dan's head. Yeah. Uh, sorry, speed round. Uh, Stephen Prescott says, All right, there, lids. Would you rather sleep with the top half of Mila Kunis and the bottom half of The Rock, or the top half of The Rock and the bottom half of Mila Kunis? Keep up the good work, Steve. So would I rather get bombed by The Rock with tits? Who's Mila Kunis? Um, she's Meg from Family Guy. She's also friends with Benefits. Very beautiful, half, oh, half, half, half Russian. Russian. Oh, Russian. I know from that, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's gorgeous. I okay, genuinely yeah. think she's the most beautiful woman who's ever existed. She's a cute. Uh, well, of course, the top half. Who's picking the fucking bottom half? <laughs> <laughs> the bottom half is the so rock. So basically, you, you have an air top half with the rock stick. <laughs> and, and bum oh. hole. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. but you want to look at the rock while you eat air pussy. <laughs> oh, I'm in a ladyboy oh, lane. It's an unusual no. bottom half, but I'm into it. Mil- Mila Kunis with some fucking quads. No, she's got a yeah. big cock. <laughs> <laughs> Mila Kunis on a quad bike. Let's go. <laughs> Tell you what, Mila, it's a good job you not got labia. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd fucking jizz. Uh, uh. He's gone. Oh, no. Can I just ask how <laughs> long time wise we did in that third section? <laughs> it was a, it was a because. Chunk. There's sometimes I look down, I'm like, I can't believe we've done this long. And it feels like we've done longer than the 15 minutes we've done. Um, uh, I'm, I'm not catching that saying. I'm uh, Carl, what, what would you... I would 100% go top half Mila Kunis, bottom half yeah, rock. Just, yeah. oh, I also yeah. think, hey, if you're going to deal with the dick, the rock stick, he's definitely not. He's steroid dick, isn't he? Yeah. He's going to be tiny. It's going to be tiny. That's just a big clip. Uh, Sam no, Lee I, says, I, I don't want the penis involved, so I'm going the other way around. I'm going the rock's top half. Top half rock. Yeah, just close me eyes. Not, stoke I mean, it. How would you even know the Sinead O'Connor's bottom half? Where does the bottom, bottom half start, by the way? Crotch. It's above belly the waist. Button. Belly button. So, oh, so like, it's like his hips down. Yeah. yeah. That's, g- g- glad we cleared that one up. <laughs> no, oh, no, no. Yeah. 
No, Obviously, block- if you've got your eyes open, you fucking sat next to Dwayne the Rock Johnson. You don't want that. You close your eyes. That's Sinead O'Connor, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, so you're shagging me like you're thinking hey, of Sinead future, O'Connor. Future guest. Think of me like whiskey. <laughs> yeah. So we've had a lock-in. <laughs> and he's more pissed on this than he was on the lock-in. Um, Sam Lee. Hey up, lids. I was at... Sam Lee. <laughs> Ugh. Hey lids, I was at Adam's epic gig in Nantwich when he was the, uh, on the back end of a few drinks. Oh dear. <laughs> Question, would you rather do that gig, <laughs> oh dear, again? No, that bad gig over and over for the rest of your career in Nantwich, or would you rather only ever be able to gig at Haven Holiday career. Caravan Parks for the rest of your career? <laughs> <laughs> Should have been was. So, you... <laughs> What's your worst ever gig? What's the gig where you're like, oh, it was such a pig? Just for context of this call, so you understand the question properly. A few months ago, I went on a date, first date. Nice. And uh, the, I'd been talking Sinead. to the girl for a little ta- a little bit of time. Yeah. And I was like, well, should we go out next week? And every night I was free, she wasn't. So it turned out she had the Friday day off. And I, I was gigging the Friday night, right? She's got a day job. So I said, right, well, we'll go for a couple of drinks in the afternoon, but then I'll have to leave you. I can have like two, maybe three, and then I can go to the gig. <laughs> on the way to the date, I texted me mate who's a taxi driver, and I said, listen, lad, I'm not going on a first date with this girl. If it's going really well, I'm not going to just want to have like three shandies. So I'll text you, and I'll pay you what you would earn today as a taxi driver to take me to me gig and back. Nice. Know what I mean? I'll yeah, cover the that's hours. A good, that's a good plan. Right? A bit of pre-planning. Got to about quarter past two, and I was like, lad, I've had four. I need you. Yeah. Right? Carried on drinking, went too far. I was having a really good time with the girl. Uh, went to the gig, done gigs, pissed before. Felt like it'd be fine. <laughs> uh, about two minutes into the set, a woman was really offended with the premise to oh. the joke. And I was too... Normally, every joke I do on stage, I feel like I can defend. I won't yeah, do it course. otherwise. So, I, normally, like, if someone's upset, I can be like, no, here's why you're wrong, and here's the jokes that justify it. Yeah. I didn't have that ability in me. That's what the alcohol took away from me. <laughs> you just become rude. And, and I had an absolute obnoxious. stinker. The uh, worst gig I've had in a decade. Quality. Right? So that's what he's asking about. Okay, so would you want that, or just do shit gigs? Like shit pontons, venues for Havens. Havens, Pontons, Haven. Haven. Like family-friendly holiday park Center comedy. Centre park. You take, what, so you've just got to do that one again, once? No, forever. Every gig is that, oh, or every, every oh, gig no, is yeah, holiday you park. You shit, ven- shit venue all the time, surely. You take the holiday parks. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you, you know, no, I wouldn't. They, there might be some fun to be had in them. I've done bad venues. I once did a holiday park, a caravan park. Yeah. Me and Mr. Methane. That's genuine. Oh, Mr. Mr. Methane, Methane. The guy that did fart. He used to be on like Euro trash and shit. He just I, farted. I did, a, I did a caravan, like Butlins type thing, but it was everyone like stayed in caravans and I got booked for it. And it was on a, the, the, the stage was a dance floor and they put all the, the, the tables around it. So, like, they were miles away, and it was me and Mr. Methane. I was open, and he was closing. No compare. And then, no compare. And then uh, they said, oh, we'll give you a nice sort of a caravan to stay in for the, for the night. And then the day before, they went, would you mind sharing with Mr. Methane? <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, because that's because of his fucking name. Man. What was his thing, though? I get he, fart. Fart, he farts on cue. Like, he can control his own sphincter. Have you never seen it? No, genuinely You've got to look at... Like, he's, I mean... It's it was one exactly the, what you think it is before you've seen it. He wears a bright green all-in-one suit, like a superhero. And a cape. And he literally gets on stage and does that. And then like puts he puts some chalk on his uh, bum. And then he just shoots it out. Wow. And sometimes he can put a tube in it and shoot a dart out as well. And, and pop balloons. I feel like I think I could do that. So if you're opening for that, do you know what that's like as a creative person? <laughs> like... <laughs> yes. Oh God. <laughs> I feel like I've been witness to the end of this podcast. It's my microphone. Audio listeners. Audio listeners. I I'll let you guess what you just heard. On cue. On cue. Unbelievable. The control. That is outrageous. See, people think IBS means I've got no control of my arsehole. It's the op- exact opposite. It's total control. I'm like the Hulk. I'm always angry. Yeah, it is the exact How is that relevant? <laughs> Mike Iron Man. A lot of people think because I've got IBS, I haven't got control. I'm like Iron Man. <laughs> Wear a suit. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on a boat? The Hulk... Famously doesn't have control of his. Oh, I got hot headed. Oh, 
Ooh, let's wrap this one up. <laughs> <laughs> that mic must stink. No, it's all right. <laughs> Such a beautiful oh, sound. So one of jeans <laughs> as well. Sign up at patreon.com. Show the fucking fridge. Have a word jeans. <laughs> to see him follow through. <laughs> Where'd you go after someone's farted into a microphone? <laughs> Carl, do you want to tell us about the podcast you do? Uh, no, <laughs> if I'm honest, um, I just we had to do a podcast called TVI. It's very fun. Me and Julian Dean talk shit for a, an hour a week. Or the original title action. was Two Vegan Idiots, well, but have you sort of short- retracted from that? Well, we shortened it just for a nice sort of abbreviation. And it's not about veganism. We've ne- literally, we've ne- the thing is, it was called Two Vegan Idiots, but we never mentioned veganism. Yeah. So we just thought, why are we... Let's just shorten it so that it doesn't sound like a vegan podcast. We nearly called our podcast Two Meat Lovers. So... <laughs> 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 um, like the Hulk but yeah it's yeah, it's very fun <laughs> <laughs> it's a similar similar vibe to this let's fart into Mike. You, you have guests though don't you yeah we do have yeah, guests yeah. Not, I, not every episode can I come on in January a, please yeah when definitely when you're in, let, let us know when you're in London come on it'd be really fun I'm going to come and do you and Trusty Hogs oh, and just yeah tutorial. next time you two are in London come on mate it'll be fun uh, and social media where can they find you the thing, yeah, I, would, I mean, I'm on Twitter, but that's probably dying, isn't it? So, like, just, yeah, Instagram's the one. I'd say follow me on Instagram just because the, the advent, advent calendar is going to be fun this year. Oh, it is such a nice way to I'm start gonna, every at, day. At Carl Donnelly. And then, uh, yeah, every, literally every morning of December, I, I, I drink a cocktail at 9 a.m. And then I edit the video of me making it, opening it, seeing what booze it is. It goes up about lunchtime. Yeah, I try and get it edited quick. It's, it's, you know, I, I do it. And also, the <coughs> thing is, because obviously I don't want to. The editing is very quick and I just need to get it done. So it's always me opening it, deciding what to drink. And it's normally a cocktail. So I add stuff in and then I drink it normally in the space of like three to five minutes. So if it's really strong, it goes right to my head. And then I I've, I've edit it and put it out by about midday, one o'clock. And it's, it's, it is fun. Like I mean, it's, yeah, it's pretty messy, but it's, uh, it's a good 24 days to watch a man have a sort of meltdown pre uh, Christmas. Patrons, if you're watching this uh, first thing Saturday morning and you haven't got anything to do, Saturday the 26th of November, uh, this is when this comes out for patrons. But uh, Carl is closing the Comedians Club Chester oh, with yeah, me be on fun. Saturday. Be there are about 20 tickets left. If you fancy it, he is one of the best. If you're in London, uh, Monday the 28th of November, I'm hosting. The comedy stores, King Gong. Oh, that, oh that's yeah. so fun. Um, and I've never done it before, and I've always wanted oh. to do it. I'm very excited. It's very much in my wheelhouse. Yeah. Uh, I think. Did so, you do it as an up and coming? I did it once in Manchester, and I've right, gone off. Right, okay. Um, yeah, so if you're in London and at a loose end on Monday, the 28th of November, please come and watch me host that. It's going to be a load of... Uh, have a word, former guests in as well. Ishan's coming down for a drink. Thomas Green's coming down for a drink. Uh, there's other comics who've said they're going to come down and hang out. It's going to be a good night. I'm really excited. So uh, come and watch us do that if you fancy. Thanks for being episode 200, mate. It was a mate, blind... Uh, it was very fun. Sorry for ruining that, <laughs> Adam. No, it's been great. I love <laughs> no, it. When, when, one of us get, <laughs> when one of us gets drunk, it's always <laughs> the best. If you want to see more of us drunk, sign up at patreon.com slash have a word where we have a litany of uh, lock-ins. Seven? I don't know if that works. Whoa. I've got seven lock-ins Six or seven. and a shitload of other Patreon specials that are some of the finest work you will see in UK comedy. Is that it? Yeah. You got, got, a me- got a song quickly. Oh, yeah. got a song. Finn's a musician, so he likes to support them. This one's from <laughs> Kanye West. Uh, this week is the man who did the, sp- the music for Alfie's special, so we're giving him a bit of a plug. Oh, of course. This is, this is a guy called Gran Falloon. I've not heard this name before, but uh, the song's called Working On Your Own, um, and it's got uh, Rick Jupp from Elbow on the drums. Oh, yes. cool. I think you've so talked a bit it. too much this episode. Finn, that's enough of that. Sorry. Oh. Next week will be If nice. you're one of the pubes, uh, and you're not a patron, then, oh, hang on. Yeah. No, if you're one of the pubes and not a patron, the next time you see this studio, it'll be all Christmas decked out. Oh, lovely. Oh, nice. yeah. And these lights are going to be green. Just forgot. so there's one Death final note, I will say it's an amazing studio and you should both should be very proud of yourself. All of you should be very proud of yourselves for what you've done here. This is an amazing, it's an inspiring thing to watch what you guys have done. You should, yeah. It's Cheers, quality. We deserve a drink. So good work. <laughs> good work, everyone. Good work, you team. Especially Callum, the intern. And <laughs> none of this could have happened without you. Kid. All right. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia.